Chapter 2961 Conning People to Death? Long Chen, you can set the strategy. We'll just follow you. Even that senior trusts you. So us rookies have no right to speak, said Luo Ning. The Luo Gates disciples didn't know much about Long Chen. Although he had become famous in the divine competition, not that many people had seen it from their side. When the immortal competition ended, only Luo Bing and Luo Ning were brought over to watch by Heaven Master Dong Ming. Thus, the other disciples had only heard stories about Long Chen. If it was said that they still had a trace of doubt when it came to Long Chen before, then now they were fully and truly convinced by him. He had slapped the face of Chu Yang and the vice leader of the third strongest guild without the other side being able to say a word. The mysterious senior spoke so courteously to him, praising him as a true warrior. Even that terrifying fourth-ranked devil beast, the red-armored earth dragon, prostrated itself towards Long Chen, allowing him and the rest of them to walk up its body. They no longer had a trace of doubt in Long Chen's capabilities. Seeing everyone look at him, Long Chen smiled. All right, since everyone trusts me so much, I'll give my opinion. As a person, I have slightly bigger guts than others. My appetite is slightly bigger. Thus, I like to go for simple and direct methods. On the way, I did some assessments, and I feel like we can directly eat meat. However, before eating meat, I need to discuss formations with everyone. The Unfettered Alliance and the Luo Gates Fighting Disciples should be split into four teams, led by Mu Qingyan, Li Kei, Luo Bing, and Luo Ning. Each team is split into four squadrons. Do your best to keep the squadrons even in terms of power distribution. Other than that, I see that your groups have rather few wood and water element cultivators. Why is that? Wood and water cultivators have low individual fighting powers. Most guilds don't particularly care for them. Explained Luo Ning. Long Chen shook his head. Wood and water element experts possess powerful healing capabilities. They might not be useful in fights between disciples, but on the battlefield, they are the number one protection for the entire group. They cannot be lacking, there are plenty of them, but both of them require many cultivation resources. There aren't many of them who excel. When one of them does, they are quickly picked up. With our current situation, we cannot raise powerful wood and water cultivators. The path of cultivation focuses on defense, then offense. People rarely cultivate healing skills, said Luo Ning. Due to the cultivation speed of wood and water cultivators being comparatively slow, and since most of them were focused mostly on control and not offense, and since they required more resources to cultivate, the various guilds usually didn't accept them. Only the best of the best were picked up. Thus, amongst the Luo Gate and the Unfettered Alliance, all together, there were only 30 wood and water element cultivators. Long Chen sighed and shook his head inside. To say that wood cultivators had weak combat power, it seemed that they had never seen a true wood cultivator. Wood cultivators like Chu Yao and Lu Ruian were indispensable whether in terms of single-person combat or group combat, ignoring everything else. Just that ocean's worth of spiritual energy was enough to cause their enemies to despair. However, there was one thing that Luo Bing was correct about. They truly used more resources. But on the Martial Heaven continent, Long Chen had had the support of Zheng Wenlong. Any resources could be obtained. So he hadn't had any pressure raising Chu Yao, Lu Ruian, and the healing warriors of the Dragonblood Legion. Unfortunately, now he was in the Immortal World. The immortal world had more resources, but also more cultivators, making the competition more intense. He wished Zheng Wenlong was here. Logically, he had already seen through the dragon expert's eyes that the people of the martial heaven continent had been sent to a safe world, with heaven merging experts sent throughout the immortal world. He hoped that he could meet Zheng Wenlong again. However, if he wanted to find Zheng Wenlong, he would first need to grow out of the High Firmament Academy but he needed to accumulate enough power here first. Starting today, all wood and water element cultivators should start training in healing magical arts. Otherwise, you won't be able to fight freely on the battlefield. Other than that, how many skilled archers are there? Stand up so I can see you. Over 10 people stood. These people were rather strong archers. There's still too few, but nothing we can do about it now. 
Once the guild's fame rises, recruit some more outstanding archers and healers. Long Chen then looked at the map. After a moment of thought, he pointed towards a region of weaving valleys. We'll start our battlefield experiment here. Mu Qingyan, Luo Bing, and the others looked at where he had chosen and gasped. The chaotic stone valley? Long Chen, that's a three-star danger zone. There were three blood-colored stars marking the place he pointed at it. That was the danger level. Many of the parts of the Devil Battlefield had danger levels marking them. For a first-time trip here, most people would choose a place with no stars at all. Areas with no stars represented that there would only be rank 1 Devil creatures, with combat power matching the human race's mortal transcendence realm. As Divine Flame experts, killing those rank 1 Devil creatures wouldn't pose a danger. A one-star danger zone represented that rank 2 devil creatures would occasionally appear. That would definitely pose some danger. For a first-time trip, only those with absolute confidence and power would go there. A two-star danger zone didn't even need to be considered. But Long Chen actually chose a three-star danger zone. In other words, this was an area where every devil creature had reached the second rank. They had immense power, and casualties could easily occur. They might even be wiped out. After speaking, Luo Bing saw Long Chen smiling at her. She suddenly blushed and recalled that she had just said that they would leave everything to him. Don't worry, we're just going to test things out there. If it really is no good, we'll go somewhere easier, said Long Chen. After setting up their teams, they moved out. They walked over to transportation formation. When the expert there heard that they wanted to go to a three-star danger zone, he was shocked. He informed them about the danger, but Long Chen persevered in wanting to go. The transportation formation shook. Long Chen and the others appeared in a mountain valley. The core of the valley was protected by a formation. Through it, they could see roving figures in the distance. Those were creatures that looked like giant apes, but they were hairless. Even from this distance, they could smell a bloody scent from them. Brothers, sisters, take out your bowls. Are you prepared to eat meat? Long Chen smiled at the nervous disciples. Long Chen charged out of the formation. With a flick of his finger, a streak of light shot out and exploded. All the devil creatures in this region were instantly attracted to the disturbance and charged over. Brother San, Long Chen had instantly drawn over hundreds of devil creatures at once. Mu Qingyan's expression changed. Did Long Chen want to con them to death? Why couldn't they kill them one by one? Chapter 2962 Long Chen's Piercing Cloud Arrow What are you looking at? Shouldn't you set up your battle formations before they arrive? Long Chen looked at Mu Qingyan and the others. Li Kei and the others rapidly got into formation. After all, they had followed Long Chen the longest, and reacted the fastest. Luo Bing, and Luo Ning also quickly reacted, getting into formation. But compared to the unfettered alliance, the Luo Gate side was clearly in much more of a mess. After all, this was their first time coming into contact with the unknown devil race. Their specific devil blood chi posed quite an impact to them. That bloodthirstiness automatically drew out the terror in people's hearts. Long Chen shook his head inside. These disciples had actually never even encountered the devil race before. The terror in their eyes could be seen clearly. Their inner hearts clearly weren't strong. If it was the dragon blood legion here, then these so-called devil creatures would be nothing before them, let alone the regular disciples. Even Luo Bing and Luo Ning were clearly not completely at ease. This was the difference. There was a large gap before they became true experts. On the other hand, Mu Qingyan was much better off. She was possessing more and more of the heart of a sword cultivator. Qingyan, Li Kei to the front. Luo Bing, Luo Ning to the rear, wood cultivators, water cultivators, take the center, archers get on the high platform, if someone is injured, retreat to the center to recover, archers, focus on steadiness, target the areas under the greatest pressure, kill the devil creatures quickly, you can't let them surround you and stall you, Long Chen's voice resounded through the air as he gave instructions, everyone quickly got into position, actually, this could barely be counted as the simplest combat formation. One reason was because these people hadn't gone through the training to use anything more complicated. 
while another reason was that Long Chen was not some expert in formations. It was always Xia Chen creating the Dragonblood Legion's formations. However, Long Chen was at least satisfied at how fast everyone was moving now. Perhaps it was because of the danger to their lives, but they didn't tarry at all. A platform dozens of meters tall was quickly set up with eight wooden pillars. Long Chen was the first to jump onto it. Who has the best bow and arrow? Asked Long Chen to the archers that jumped up with him. My golden silk six-string bow is an ancestral spirit item. Ba San, do you want to try it? One disciple handed over their bow and arrows. Long Chen grasped the bow. It was very heavy. It was a powerful bow. When he pulled it, it bent like a crescent moon. Its runes activated and it began to automatically store energy. Not bad. Long Chen received an arrow and shot it. His movements were smooth and easy. An arrow shot out like a bolt of lightning, striking the first devil creature in the head. The immense power caused that giant ape's head to instantly explode. What an archery technique. Those archers cried out in unison. Long Chen movements contained a spirituality and elegance that only archers who had been training for decades could achieve. Even Mu Qingyan and the others were shocked. They had never seen Long Chen use archery. They hadn't expected him to also be skilled in this aspect. He was practically a demon. Was there anything he wasn't skilled in? If we weren't rather familiar, I would think that you were mocking me. That arrow not only missed, its power was off, said Long Chen as he shot another. It hit another one of the devil creatures in the head, killing it. Long Chen shot out over ten arrows, every arrow blasting apart the head of a devil creature. Those archers wanted to cheer, but seeing Long Chen frowning the entire time, it seemed that he was very dissatisfied with his archery. They could only swallow their cheers. Luo Ning rolled her eyes. If I wasn't familiar with this fellow, I definitely think he was being a show-off punk. Ning Er, you're a woman. Don't say such coarse words. Luo Bing glared her little sister. This little sister of hers drove her crazy. She was even more crude than a man. Just at this moment, Long Chen suddenly unleashed an arrow that caused a tiny hole to appear in a devil creature's head. The arrow pierced through its head without it exploding. It fell to the ground. I finally found the feeling. That fellow Mo Nian said that this technique was so easy. Good thing I didn't believe him and get scammed into betting with him. That little fellow really is treacherous Long Chen sighed. When he raised the bow again, light flickered in his eyes. He slowly pulled back the string. Formless energy spread. Piercing cloud arrow. An explosive sound suddenly came from the bowstring. The arrow vanished. They heard the sound of flesh being pierced in the distance. Looking over, they saw a line of over ten devil creatures collapse. Luo Bing and the others were dumbfounded. They had never seen such terrifying archery arts. It had to be known that he was currently only using normal arrows. No? As for the archers beside Long Chen, their eyes almost popped out of their eyes. As archers, they had never seen something so shocking. They were clearer on just how terrifying that arrow of his was. Long Chen hadn't used all that much power in his arrow. It was entirely mental energy. When that arrow flew out, it was like it had its own life. All its power was concentrated on the tip, giving it terrifying piercing power. That fellow Mo Nian, this is only the first level of the piercing cloud arrow, and it's already this difficult. He actually managed to train it to the ninth level. Long Chen felt greater admiration for Mo Nian's archery. Seeing the other archers staring at him like he was a god, he smiled and said, Archers are a very frightening profession. I learned a little bit of archery from a brother. If you want to learn it, I can teach you. Really this little bit is nothing in front of real experts. When you have a chance to see that fellow called Mo Nian, you'll understand what a true divine archer is. Focus up. The devil creatures have arrived. Block the first wave. Warriors of the High Firmament Academy. Today is your day to soar. These devil creatures are your steps to glory. Raise your weapons. Reveal your light. Use your hot blood to bear witness to your undying youth. Kill them all. These disciples' blood instantly heated up. Even their fear was replaced with overflowing battle intent. Kill. The disciples of both guilds roared and started attacking the devil creatures. Hey. Hey. Maintain formations. Don't just run around. Shouted Long Chen. Chapter 2963 Guild Rankings Long Chen himself was shocked. 
These fellows looked like they had been given some chicken blood. Their eyes were red, and they almost seemed crazy. This was the result of people worshipping him to a fanatical level. They lost their own rationality. This was why faith was such a frightening power. People had a habit of believing whatever an expert said. Long Chen only wanted to encourage them and make them forget their fear. But instead they actually thought themselves unrivaled and started attacking. To the point that their formations became a mess. By the time he shouted, it was too late. The devil creatures had already arrived and a fierce battle erupted. Fortunately, the unfettered alliance's disciples were at the front, and things were still somewhat under control. After all, they had learned how to fight with Long Chen. Those devil creatures collapsed in front of them. Luo Bing and Luo Ning activated their bloodline power. Violet Qi burst out of them. With a wave of their hands, violet light swords flew out, tearing through the devil creatures. Long Chen finally bore witness to the Luo family's bloodline power. It was truly powerful. Those light swords were so incredibly sharp that they did not lose out to spirit items. Luo Bing, Luo Ning, focus on control over your group, not killing them yourselves, shouted Long Chen. To Luo Bing and Luo Ning, these devil creatures were nothing. It was meaningless for them to kill them. This was training for their disciples. The two of them immediately stopped focusing instead on helping in areas that started to get dangerous. These eight creatures were so powerful that a single punch needed to be blocked by several people together. Sometimes the disciples didn't balance their power evenly, resulting in some people being injured. The injured people ran into the center of the formation where the wood and water element cultivators helped them recover. Since the injuries were still very light, as soon as their wood and water energy entered their bodies, they essentially instantly healed, their chaotic auras growing steady. They quickly rejoined the battlefield, seeing the clumsy way that these wood and water cultivators were using their abilities. Long Chen couldn't help shaking his head. Good talent was being wasted. Any one of the Dragonblood Legion's healing warriors could instantly heal anyone injured throughout the entire formation with just a wave of their staff. There was no need for them to go over there. As for the archers, they kept a gaze over the entire battlefield, launching attacks on wherever the devil creatures were most concentrated. They killed a few of them to lessen the pressure. After two hours, the ground was littered with the devil creatures' corpses. The disciples of both guilds were so excited that their faces were red. They had actually killed over 3,000 of these frightening devil creatures without a single casualty, let alone a casualty. No one was even heavily injured. They maintained their peak combat state throughout these two hours. The guild sent people to clean up the battlefield while the rest took a break. These second-ranked devil creatures had a small devil crystal in their heads, also known as devil cores. Those were good things that the academy accepted. One could be traded for 50 to 100 immortal crystals depending on its purity. Although the individual price wasn't that high, after killing them day in and day out, you could obtain a nice sum over a month. Let's take a look at the rankings, said Luo Bing excitedly. Luo Bing and Mu King Gaian took out their guild plates. Some special ripples appeared on them. Those ripples were a special counting method that Long Chen didn't understand. The Luo Gate has reached rank 937. We have 2,600 points. We're in the top thousand. Luo Bing smiled. In just a bit, they had already entered the top thousand. The Unfettered Alliance has 5,100 points, and is rank 892, said Mu Kingayan, a bit apologetically. Why is the difference so great? Luo Bing and the others were startled. Let me explain, said Long Chen. Kingayan and Li Ke kept charge of the battlefield's tempo just like Luo Bing and Luo Ning. The difference is the skill in killing the devil creatures. The warriors of the Unfettered Alliance killed them far faster resulting in them creating openings for more of them to come. Of course, it is also related to how the Unfettered Alliance stood at the front, but that wasn't the main reason. The Luo Gates warriors should take note that the battlefield is different from the martial arena. The golden rule of the battlefield is to kill your targets in the shortest time while saving the most energy. I saw the way you fought. You wasted too many chances and energy. You're still fighting like on the martial stage. Flashy moves might look nice, but the rule of the battlefield is to survive. Every bit of energy is incomparably priceless. 
A person's energy is limited, so every bit you conserve can save your life at a critical moment. Do not underestimate how much energy you can conserve bit by bit. That will decide whether you leave this place alive or are buried here. In the end, these disciples had lived far too peaceful lives. There was no bloodshed in them. They had not stepped foot onto the battlefield, nor had they experienced any true life or death trials. They didn't know the immense difference between battle and killing. Long Chen pointed out their mistakes in combat and taught them ways to grasp hold of the battlefield, taking advantage of opportunities to turn back the tide, to get the greatest gains with the smallest price. At the same time, he taught them how to work together to get the most out of being a team. By cooperating, they created more opportunities to slay their opponents in one blow. Novaloon.com after hearing his pointers. The Luo Gates disciples understood how the unfettered alliance's disciples had killed those devil creatures so quickly. For them to have been accepted into the Luo Gate meant that their aptitude was not bad. With just these pointers, they quickly understood what he was trying to say. After cleaning up the battlefield, Long Chen led everyone forward. They encountered a few solitary devil creatures, and they were killed by the Luo Gates disciples. It went without saying that they were talented. With just some pointers, they started to improve. While it was still a bit stiff and crude, there was no way around that. Experience was something that needed to be accumulated. After an hour of travel, Long Chen found a valley for them to set up their formation. Long Chen, can you let our Luo Gate stand at the front this time so we get more experience? Asked Luo Bing, a bit embarrassed at this request. In truth, her goal wasn't more points at the moment. But while everyone was still enthusiastic, she wanted to drill all the things that he had taught them into their bones. Battle was the best way to do so. Those devil creatures just now were just the warm-up. The real battle starts now. Long Chen took out a medicinal pill. With a flick of his finger, it soared into the sky and exploded. A strange scent spread in every direction. After a moment, Long Chen said. This medicinal pill of mine has a special scent that will attract all the devil creatures within a thousand mile radius. Are you prepared? As soon as he said this, the earth began to shake. The shaking grew more and more intense as if a tsunami was crashing down from every direction. They then saw a tide of devil creatures charging over. Long Chen, you, Luo Bing was appalled. If you're going to eat meat, eat a bit more. Otherwise, how will you be satisfied? But I should just warn you, you better kill them quickly this time, or we'll be wiped out here. Just as he finished speaking, the devil creatures collapsed upon them. Chapter 2964 Mocking Boss San Can you not go in a step-by-step -step manner? Li Kei and the others almost pissed themselves when they saw the tide of devil creatures crashing down upon them. They were practically endless. Cultivation is a race against time. The moment you take a breather. Your enemies run past you. Once you're past, you will be washed out. And the consequence of that is death. The survival of the fittest is the core principle. And it is cruel. If you are not cruel to yourself, your future will be far crueler. Said Long Chen indifferently. The devil creatures roared. There was nowhere for Long Chen and the others to hide. This terrain was extremely unfavorable to them as they were surrounded on all sides. However, now that the enemies had come. They had no choice but to go all out. They took out their weapons and faced them head on. Li Kei and the others clenched their teeth and attacked. As a result, blood and flesh flew through the air. Li Kei and the others' killing power was truly great. But there were also too many devil creatures. For each one they killed, another took its place. For each wave they knocked down, another wave crashed upon them. There was no time to breathe. Mu Qingyan, Luo Bing and Luo Ning were also forced to kill with all their power. They had to kill as many as possible to lessen the pressure on everyone else. With every slash of Mu Qingyan's sword, Sword Qi swept out, causing waves of devil creatures to collapse. They were as weak as paper in front of her. She killed dozens of them with every slash of her sword. From this, it could be said that a sword cultivator's killing power was extremely frightening. At the same time, Luo Bing and Luo Ning's bloodline power erupted. As their runic swords rained down, the devil creatures were torn through by them. All the three ladies had immense killing power. However, despite that, the pressure on the whole formation only continued to grow. 
There were too many devil creatures for them to kill. If they slacked the slightest bit, more would gather. If that happened, these ordinary disciples would be put under greater pressure. The healing disciples were also incredibly busy, and the formation became a bit chaotic. Seeing this situation, Mu Qingyan, Luo Bing, and Luo Ning couldn't hold back. Mu Qingyan's sword Qi grew explosively, while a strange mark appeared on Luo Bing's forehead. She ran rampant through the battlefield while controlling hundreds of runic swords. Once the three of them were going all out, the pressure on the formation lessened. The signs of it growing disorderly also vanished. The formation stabilized, and they gradually grew accustomed to this high-intensity battle. Meanwhile, Long Chen overlooked the battlefield from the platform, and the archers around him were constantly shooting. All of them were covered in sweat. They had the greatest responsibility. If they didn't reinforce whichever areas were under pressure, it could cause a whole collapse in the formation. Long Chen had given them the mission not to allow any disciple to die. Otherwise, they wouldn't be taught the cloud-piercing arrow. Under the pressure from all sides, they focused, not daring to slow down. With the help of Mu Qingyan, Luo Bing, and Luo Ning, the formation stood solidly. But even after two hours, the number of devil creatures didn't drop. Instead, more and more of them appeared. These two hours of combat felt as long as a whole day and night to the disciples fighting. They were running out of energy. Even Luo Bing and the others were starting to run out of spiritual yuan with this high pace of fighting. Rather than getting easier, the fighting only grew more difficult. The formation was starting to get chaotic again under the pressure, and people were constantly injured. Now, the healing disciples had endless work. Long Chen. We can't continue like this. Luo Bing saw countless figures continuing to rush toward them. They really would die like this. Don't worry, as long as you can last another two hours, these devil creatures will all be killed. Comforted Long Chen as he gazed into the distance. Another two hours? Li Kei almost coughed up blood. They had dropped down to 70% of their energy, and the drain would only grow exponentially, let alone two hours. Even an incense stick's worth of time was too much. Long Chen, people will die, shouted Luo Ning, her voice anxious. Huge casualties would appear amongst the disciples of both guilds. Cultivation isn't a game, it is facing death. If you are fated to not become an expert, you will only die an aggrieved death to your enemy's hands. If that has to happen, I would rather have all of you die here. At least, you'll save some dignity said Long Chen coldly without the slightest compassion. Luo Bing and the others' hearts turned cold. They didn't know why Long Chen would suddenly say such cruel words. There is no reaping without sowing. If you want to become an expert, you must pay the price. In my eyes, all of you are trash waiting for death. If you were in my world, all of you would have long since died to the devil race's blades. Cowards like you actually want to stand out and get in the top 100 guild rankings? You want to compete with the Chu family? If you want my opinion, you should give up. You don't even have the determination to get stronger. Rather than dying at Chu Yang's hands and disgracing your ancestors, you might as well die here, sneered Long Chen. His words were like poisonous arrows shooting into their hearts. They were aggrieved and infuriated. None of you understand what it means to be an expert. When their spiritual Yuan is exhausted, a true expert will fight with their spiritual strength. If their spiritual strength is exhausted, they'll fight with their physical strength. If their physical strength is exhausted, they'll fight with their willpower. None of you understand what the will is. Even if your weapon is gone, even if your body is mutilated, when you still do everything just to bite your opponent to death, you are fighting with your will. If you can't even reach such a level, if you want to retreat just because you encounter a strong opponent, do you think you can be an expert? Are you trying to make others laugh to death? I'll tell you the truth right now. If you are killed before all your physical energy is exhausted, I won't help you. I, Long Chen, will not let a group of cowards. I can't embarrass myself like that, said Long Chen. Shut up. Don't think that you're the only one capable of becoming an expert, shouted Luo Ning angrily. Then go ahead and become experts for me to see. I, Long Chen, am watching expectantly, said Long Chen, sitting down on the platform. Just at this moment, 
more and more devil creatures surrounded them. As the pressure grew and grew, their formation was pressed down more and more, on the verge of collapsing. Once it broke, they would be wiped out. Chapter 2965 Heavenly Flame Prison Hold We won't let others look down on us. Lee K. roared, standing at the very front end brandishing his broadsword. He was covered in blood and wounds, but still fighting to the death. He had to hold this position. Without him here, the formation would instantly collapse. Mu Qingyan, Luo Bing, and Luo Ning were all doing their best to keep the formation intact. As long as the formation remained intact, they only had to face enemies from one side. If it was broken, everyone would be killed. Then they would be surrounded and killed as well. Long Chen's mocking words stabbed their hearts. Although they knew he was very likely just provoking them on purpose, they were truly hurtful. They were all geniuses who had grown up being praised by their elders. But Long Chen made them sound worthless. They couldn't accept such a thing. They would prove that they weren't trash. A mountain of devil creature corpses had piled up already. But in the end, a person's power was limited. They were running out of energy. Some people couldn't even feel their arms. Every time they swung their weapons, it felt like they were moving a mountain. Despite that, none of them gave up. They continued to hold on. This formation was their only hope of survival. No one could slip up at this time. It was not just for themselves, but for all their comrades fighting alongside them. However, these people had long since passed their limits and were fighting entirely with just their willpower. Unable to see any hope, under this immense pressure, someone finally fainted. With the loss of one person, most people were unable to endure. Mu Qingyan and the others instantly despaired. The formation was about to be broken. Just as the formation was about to break, just as the devil creatures were about to charge through their ranks, they felt an intense heat. A wall of flame soared into the sky. Heavenly flame prison. A ring of flames appeared around them. The devil creatures caught within it were instantly incinerated. The ring of flames then rapidly expanded, spreading throughout this entire region. Tens of thousands of devil creatures were instantly slaughtered. The battlefield grew empty. The flames vanished, revealing a blackened land without a single devil creature in sight. The disciples stared up at the platform in disbelief. Long Chen slowly put his hands down. He smiled at them. Didn't you say that you wouldn't save us? Who asked you to be some hypocritical savior? Raged Luo Ning. I said that I wouldn't help you before your energy ran out. Now. Everyone's physical energy is exhausted. Most of you actually overdrafted yourselves. I followed through on my promise. Just at that moment, when the sense of crisis faded, many disciples instantly fainted. They thumped to the ground. If you can, stay conscious. That will benefit you more. Called out Long Chen to the other disciples who were starting to lie down. Those disciples struggled to sit back. But some still fainted. Unable to hold on. Only a third of them were able to keep themselves awake. The majority of those disciples came from the unfettered alliance. It could be seen just how much stronger the disciples that Long Chen had raised were compared to the Luo Gates disciples. Brother San, did you say those things to provoke us? Asked Mu Qingyan, her eyes slightly red with grief. Long Chen smiled and rubbed her head. What do you think? Being treated so intimately, Mu Qingyan's grief vanished. She smiled. I knew that Brother San was just trying to make us unleash our full potential. He, you're wrong. Actually, your previous display made me quite angry. If people started cowering with fear before they ran out of power, I wouldn't have saved them, said Long Chen. I knew you weren't a good person, snorted Luo Ning, clearly remembering this grudge. Ning Er, he had his reasons, said Luo Bing. You're going to protect him after he went that far demanded Luo Ning. Luo Bing shook her head. No one can help you on your cultivation path. Just pointing out a path for you is already a huge kindness. Just like a caterpillar in a cocoon. If you cut open the cocoon for it before it struggles free itself, then it will never be able to spread its wings and fly. It must become a butterfly and break free of its own power in order to soar through the sky. People who stand at the peak can tell you where some pitfalls are but they cannot carry you up the mountain. If they pull you up and you never explain those dangers, by the time you reach the peak, due to your lack of experience, 
you will fall down the cliff and die. That is why people must accumulate their own experiences. In the future, without Long Chen, we will still know how to make ourselves strong. Don't you think Long Chen also feels bad about saying such things? Luo Bing nodded towards Long Chen gratefully. She had kept a much clearer head than others when it came to Long Sen's words. TCH. Just like that evil smile on his face. How does he feel bad? He clearly isn't a good person. In any case. In any case. He insulted me. And I won't forget this. Luo Ning snorted and turned around. All of them could see that she wasn't actually angry. But she refused to apologize or thank him. However. Mu Qingyan was surprised by one part of Luo Bing's words. Brother San, are you planning on leaving us? Not for now. In the future, who knows? Don't think so far. Today's battle has caused many people to overdraft their power. This is a good thing for them. It is their first step from going from cultivators to warriors. With one step in the right direction, the next steps will also be easier. Well, let's not talk about those things. Take a look at your guild rankings. What rank have you reached? Asked Long Chen. Hearing that, Mu Qingyan quickly took out her guild plate and exclaimed, The Unfettered Alliance has already accumulated 56,300 points. We're rank 607. Heavens, am I misreading this? When Luo Bing checked her guild plate, she cried out in shock. Chapter 2966 An ocean's worth of points 174,000 points. How do we have so many? Cried out Luo Bing. Jumping in shock. We're rank 437. We rose 500 rankings. Luo Bing suddenly stared at Long Chen. Were you holding one of our status plates just now? According to reason, the Luo Gate's disciples killing power was inferior to the unfettered alliance but they had gained so many points. It was definitely connected to him. Long Chen nodded and picked up the status plate on his waist. There were many colorful ripples on it, but he had never learned how to read them. Luo Ning looked over, ignoring her previous disagreement with him, and saw that it was one of the Luo Gate State Plates. 136,000 kill credit. How is that possible? Luo Ning was stunned by what she saw. Long Chen had really only attacked that one time at the end. How did he get so much kill credit? Kill credit was awarded based on a rather marvelous trick. It was said that when devil creatures were killed, they would release a curse of hatred on those who killed them. This curse was something only other members of their race could sense, and it would be on them to avenge them. The inner academies gave disciples status plates with special formations to track that hate curse. It was very accurate. For Long Chen to obtain such a huge amount of kill credit in an instant stunned everyone. They all stared at him. Long Chen shrugged. Don't look at me. I haven't had a chance to look into guild points or kill credit. All I know is that some devil creatures in the final wave had some special marks on their bodies. They're probably elites of their race I suppose. Elite devil creatures? They existed. This race had many bloodline levels. But elites rarely appeared on the outer edges of the devil battlefield. However, they were extremely dangerous. It was said that these elites possessed purer bloodlines, and were capable of unleashing the devil race's bloodline divine abilities. Furthermore, elites were often in groups of ten or more. If disciples from the academy encountered such a squad, they could easily be wiped out. They recuperated as they conversed. Mu Qingyan, Luo Bing, Luo Ning and Li Kei recovered to around 20%. Li Kei wanted to clean up the battlefield, but was stopped by Long Chen. There's no rush. We've already obtained the points and kill credit. If Chu Yang or someone else comes to fight over what remains, then that would be the best case scenario for us now. Just focus on recovering. Overdrafting yourselves means that you've expanded your limits. As a cultivator, you should be constantly challenging your limits. If you live a peaceful life, you might find that carrying 5 tons is your limit, that adding the slightest bit more would crush you, but in reality, after a night of cultivation, your old limit was broken, however, your mind will still be trapped in your past unless you break it free, thus, you must constantly break your limits, break the chains binding you, and uncover the treasures within your body. The Luo Gate's disciples in particular will benefit immensely from breaking their limits today. With the experience the first time, 
It will be easier the second time. Hearing that, Luo Ning turned slightly red. Her mouth almost opened, but she didn't say anything. Even though Long Chen had insulted them, it had been for them. He was willing to be a villain for them. Luo Bing saw her reaction and simply smiled without saying anything. The conscious members of the Luo Gate looked at Long Chen gratefully. They almost didn't believe that they had managed to unleash so much power under that situation. They definitely never would have thought that they could do so before. Li Ke was more experienced, and he began to wake up some people who were beginning to fall into a deep slumber, having them do their best to stay clear-minded. That was beneficial to their recovery and would temper their will further. After two hours, some disciples that had recovered a bit faster were about 40%. They finally couldn't endure it, and ran over to clean up the battlefield. Those devil cores were money. Just leaving them lying there made them uneasy. Long Chen, you keep saying that we're lacking. Are we really inferior to those people that you led in the lower world? Asked Luo Ning after a moment of silence. Long Chen looked at her difficultly. It's not easy to answer that question. I'm not good at lying. But if I tell the truth, I'm worried about you getting angry. Can I not answer? Luo Ning clenched her teeth angrily. Who would get angry? I'm not so petty. Stop stalling. I refuse to believe we're really that lacking. Long Chen helplessly said. Fine. Let me put it to you this way. You could pick out any ten warriors from my Dragonblood Legion and they could wipe all of you out. Well, fighting with you would be bullying. After all, they're warriors of hundreds of battles. Warriors who climbed out of mountains of corpses. Instead, let's take these devil creatures as the target. Ten dragonblood warriors could form a small squad, and within the same realm, they could wipe out all these devil creatures in just an hour. Of course, by all, I am including those elites that I killed. I don't believe you. Luo Ning refused to believe such a thing. Any random ten warriors would be stronger than all of them? How was she supposed to have any confidence in herself if she believed in such a thing? If you don't believe me, why ask me to answer? Long Chen scoffed, saying it would take ten was already giving them face. With such a tender fighting style, they couldn't even compare to his brothers. Chapter 2967 Advancements Luo Ning curled her lip, feeling unconvinced. But inside, she knew that Long Chen wouldn't lie about such a thing. It was just that such a statement was extremely hard to accept. A strong general doesn't let weak soldiers. Brother San is so powerful, so the people under him definitely can't be lacking, said Mu Qingyan with a smile to get rid of the awkward atmosphere. In any case, I really admire Brother San. I'm going to work hard. I'm sure that under his guidance, I will get stronger. I'll do whatever Brother San says. Suck up, snorted Luo Ning quietly. Ning -er. Luo Bing's expression changed. She sternly said, quickly apologize to Sister Kingayan. Mu Kingayan waved it off. It's fine. As he is my brother, it's natural for me to suck up. Seeing that she wasn't angry, Luo Bing felt a bit better. Ultimately, Luo Ning also apologized for saying such a thing. But she still refused to believe Long Chen. The battlefield was quickly cleaned up, and over a hundred special devil cores were given to Long Chen. Those were the ones left behind by the elite devil creatures. It was also proof that they had really drawn over those terrifying existences. Without Long Chen present, those elites would have at least caused hideous casualties, if not wiped them out entirely. Novaloon.com CM, however, without Long Chen, they also wouldn't have gone so deep into the battlefield and encountered such terrifying existences. Long Chen, that technique that you unleashed at the end was incredible. I still can't believe that you wiped out all those devil creatures, said Luo Ning. She was still puzzled. Although that technique was truly amazing, it didn't make sense for that singular attack to wipe out all the powerful devil creatures in an instant. Long Chen said, I've encountered these devil creatures in the lower world. They are actually called power devils, and they possess strong physical bodies but very weak spiritual strength. Since I know their weakness, the power of my attack didn't lie in the flame energy but in the spiritual strength within. This offensive spiritual strength then invaded their souls with the flames, killing them. Since I dared to bring you all here, I have absolute confidence in being able to bring you away as well. 
the reason why Long Chen had chosen this particular location and been so brazen as to draw so many of the devil creatures here was because he had checked the devil creatures and their weaknesses. A spiritual attack? Long Chen, you're also a soul cultivator. Luo Bing, Luo Ning, and the others were shocked. Long Chen was a pill cultivator, a flame cultivator, an immortal cultivator, a lightning cultivator, and even his archery was so terrifying. Now, he had spiritual attacks as well? What else did he have up his sleeve? Long Chen shook his head. It's just superficial tricks. Mu King Gyan was speechless. When Long Chen had first taught her sword arts, he had also said that they were just some superficial tricks. At that time, she had been vexed. However, the superficial tricks as he called them could not be treated that way. The longer she knew him, the more unfathomable she found him to be. No need to be curious. I often had to fight the devil race in my world, so I have some experience against them. Let's go back to the academy, said Long Chen. We're going back already. Luo Bing and the others were surprised. They were leaving after just two fights? They should fight a bit more. No? Yes. After overdrafting your power like this, it would be best to rest a few days. Of course, it's possible to rest here but we also have other things to do, so let's not waste time. Don't worry about the transportation fee. It would be best not to skimp on money when it comes to certain things, said Long Chen. Every time you entered the devil battlefield, the transportation fee was not small, so most guilds would enter and not leave for 10 days. However, since Long Chen had put it that way, Luo Bing didn't ask further questions. Once everyone was awake, they returned to the inner academy. After returning, Long Chen had Luo Bing and Mu King Gaian take charge of recruiting. Both of their guilds were lacking powerful healers and archers. Without those two forces, Long Chen didn't dare to bring them to stronger battlefields. According to guild standards, they could recruit at most 2,000 people. Then in Long Chen's opinion, they would need at least 50 archers and 50 healers. With such explosive growth, the unfettered alliance and the Luo Gate had drawn quite a bit of attention. Choosing a good guild was of paramount importance to a disciple. Before this, few people had bothered with these two alliances since their power was still unknown. But now that their ranking had instantly soared, many people would be clamoring to join. The two alliances could then pick the best of the best. Many people were gossiping amongst themselves that such a sudden rise indicated that they would have no problem getting into the top hundred. Thus, even before the recruitment began, some people were ready to charge over. The matter of the recruitment was left to Luo Bing, Mu King Gyan, and the others. So Long Chen brought everyone else to the Divine God Scripture to learn various techniques. The money was paid by the disciples. After reading a technique once, Long Chen comprehended it and taught them. First were the archers. These people still didn't meet the requirements to train in the piercing cloud arrow so he needed them to build a solid foundation first. Those archers were dumbfounded. Long Chen didn't seem to forget anything he read. He memorized any technique with one read and began to explain it to them. For them to learn such a technique would require several reads to comprehend. But now with just paying once, they could all learn it. It saved a large amount of time and money. Long Chen's way of explaining the techniques was also very brilliant. As a result, they were able to master the basics in a short time. After learning over 10 archery techniques, Long Chen called a stop to it. These fellows seemed to want to learn every single archery technique here, but Long Chen didn't have so much time to waste. 10 archery techniques were enough to build up a good foundation as preparation for the piercing cloud arrow. After that, Long Chen sent the archers away to digest what they had learned. Next was the healing arts of the wood and water cultivators. However, Long Chen didn't have much experience with these techniques. He had no experience with wood and water cultivation techniques, nor did he want to research them and end up affecting his own cultivation path. Thus, they had to learn the techniques themselves. As for the combat-related magical arts and divine abilities, Long Chen learned many of them. The disciples had pooled resources for Long Chen to learn and then teach them the techniques. The price wasn't that bad when it was pulled together. As a result, just like the archers, they wanted to learn every technique here. However, 
Long Chen only picked out ten rather practical fighting magical arts for them before shooing them off. Long Chen remained here on his own, and he still had over ten million immortal crystals. Those were the Luo Gate and Unfettered Alliance's disciples' payments for medicinal pills. With this much money, Long Chen went to the Flame Element region. Huo Long had grown much stronger, and now he needed some more flame magical arts. Long Chen had only just arrived when he felt a venomous gaze. He turned over and sneered. What? Does your face not hurt? Chapter 2968 Heaven Shaking Sword This person was the one who had come to the Luo Gate celebration and tried to give them an imperial edict. The vice leader of the Heaven Melting Valley. He had almost been killed by a slap from Long Chen. And Long Chen didn't even remember his name. The current him was standing in front of some books. Seemingly hesitating. When he saw Long Chen. Killing intent exploded out of him. Long Chen's slap last time had almost broken his head, and he only woke up three days later. After learning what had happened, he was infuriated and wanted to directly kill Long Chen but was stopped by Long Yanzong. Killing people inside the academy was taboo. In fact, even before he managed to kill Long Chen, just starting a fight might disturb the inner academy's experts and cause him to be killed. If he failed to kill Long Chen and was then executed, that would be the worst case scenario. The Heaven Melting Valley couldn't lose him. If they wanted to kill someone in the Inner Academy, they had to find an appropriate opportunity. They had been thinking all these days for such a chance, but now Long Chen suddenly appeared in front of them. As a result, his killing intent automatically erupted, let alone Long Chen. Even an idiot could sense this killing intent at this distance. Long Chen sneered inside. This person was truly an idiot. Was he openly telling everyone that he wanted to kill Long Chen? Was that to make others afraid? How was this any different from courting death? Long Chen, just wait. Don't let me get a chance, or you know what will happen, he said. Long Chen shook his head. This person was unable to pose any threat to him. He had neither power nor brains. Hence, Long Chen couldn't be bothered to waste words with him. Long Chen just so happened to see a certain tome on the bookshelf in front of him. Heaven Shaking Sword. Long Chen was surprised to see it there. Why would a technique with such a name appear in the flame element section? Suddenly, thinking of how this fellow was dithering in front of it, he guessed that it wasn't an ordinary technique. He then looked at the price and saw that it was actually 750,000 immortal crystals. No wonder that this fellow was hesitating. With such a price. This fellow didn't seem confident in learning it. Seeing him glaring over, Long Chen had an urge to slap him, but it was forbidden to do so in the Divine Scripture Pavilion. He didn't want to get punished for a few days because of this fellow. Scram. Don't irritate others here. Long Chen grabbed that tome. The tome lit up, and 750,000 immortal crystals on his crystal card vanished. Light enveloped Long Chen, and he vanished into the room. Seeing that Long Chen had chosen the technique he had been pondering over, he was enraged. But since Long Chen was already gone, he could only grit his teeth and leave. Fiery swords manifested before Long Chen's eyes, streaking through the air. Their intense heat twisted the space around them, condensing life swords using one's core flame, using the heart to nourish them. By constantly absorbing the essence of heaven and earth, these are life weapons that can grow along with you. The immortal world's laws are truly different. This is impossible in the mortal world. No wonder it was so expensive. This technique brought endless benefits. The stronger one's core energy, the more flame swords could be condensed, and the greater their power. This technique was similar to Luo Bing's runic swords. Her runic swords were condensed by her bloodline power, and with her bloodline power, she could only condense a few hundred. However, with this technique, as long as you had enough core energy and the spiritual strength to control it, you could have unlimited flame swords. Long Chen was delighted. If he could summon tens of thousands or even hundreds of thousands of these swords, just how terrifying would that be? Couldn't he be like Meng Chi and simply slaughter his enemies with a thought? Long Chen immediately had Huo Long learn it, and it instantly grasped the technique. Small flame swords appeared in Long Chen's hands. They were only three inches long and were made of flame runes. Moreover, they had Long Chen's spiritual imprint, and they were like a part of his body. He controlled them with his soul, 
and they began to float in the air, revolving around him. An incense sticks worth of time later, there were hundreds of flame swords around him. This was the result of Long Chen's spiritual strength and Huo Long's core energy. However, these flame swords were still in their initial form. They didn't have much killing power yet, and they would need to grow. That would require his spiritual strength, Huo Long's core energy, and the outer world's flame energy. The three of them combined would make these swords stronger. Huo Long wanted to continue condensing them, but creating them definitely posed some damage to Huo Long. And in order to keep it in its best state, he was stopped from creating more. He told Huo Long to only condense more when it wouldn't affect it. There was no rush to condense more of these heaven shaking swords. However, Huo Long was his strongest trump card and couldn't be weakened. After learning it, Long Chen ran over to the Immortal Institute, and in the Immortal Scripture Institute, he picked out 10 fighting immortal arts for the Luo Gate's disciples to learn. Just like before, he learned them himself and taught them all to the students. After that, he returned to his residence and took out his pill furnace. He looked at the list he had been given and got to work. Time passed. After three days, the disciples of both guilds once more gathered. Long Chen had finished refining all the medicinal pills they had asked for. It went without saying that with Huo Long and the Moon and Star Refining Furnace, refining pills became easy. After just refining them two or three times himself, Huo Long and the Moon and Star Refining Furnace memorized the process and could refine them themselves. With the primal chaos bead, he had an endless supply of medicinal ingredients. It was truly a bottomless cornucopia. He could refine as many medicinal pills as he wanted with no loss. When those pills entered the hands of the disciples, they were incredibly moved. They had been nervous about this. After all, the price of the Academy's medicinal pills was set in stone. An 80% discount? They didn't dare to believe it. However, those pills were now entering their hands, and the quality was even better than when they bought them from the Pill Institute. They could now save a huge amount every month. Long Chen helped them save money with learning techniques, as well as for medicinal pills. As a result, their combat power was constantly rising. Both guilds' disciples were filled with gratitude. Brother San, these are the new members we recruited. Let me introduce you. Mu King Guyan waved her hand, and over 50 unfamiliar faces stepped forward and bowed to Long Chen. Greetings, Boss San. Long Chen's gaze swept over them. His gaze suddenly landed on a woman. Speak. Who sent you here? Chapter 2969 Eagle Eye and Shadow Boss San. You. The female disciple stared at Long Chen in shock. You don't need to be nervous. And you don't need to use your prepared speech either. Some people in this world can probably lie in front of me. But they're definitely not existences at your level. Said Long Chen indifferently. His gaze was completely flat. Without any pressure. However, she only grew tenser and even began to sweat. Mu King Guyan also stared in shock at her. This woman was the most outstanding member she had recruited this time. She was a powerful wood cultivator with excellent talent and even specialized in healing arts. Mu King Guyan hadn't expected this person to be a spy. Ba San. I. The woman opened her mouth but found that she was unable to speak. Looking at Long Chen was like looking into a mirror. The words she had prepared might be able to trick anyone else, but not him. It really was as he said. She could not lie to him. When she realized that, she grew even more anxious. Long Chen's name had spread throughout the inner academy. He had killed multiple experts during the divine competition without batting an eye. He was a truly vicious person. Hence, she began to quiver. Luo Bing, Luo Ning, and the others stared at her. They were surprised. Just how did Long Chen recognize her as a spy? The truth was that when his gaze swept over everyone, only her spiritual fluctuations became extremely intense. However, her face was calm. That instantly exposed her. Most importantly, after being with Chu Yao for so long, he was particularly sensitive to the spiritual fluctuations of a wood cultivator. Thus, he instantly saw the problem. It's alright. You can speak. I won't make things hard on you, said Long Chen with a faint smile. It, it was, Chu Yang. Her voice shuddered, and it was only with the utmost effort that she managed to speak this name. 
Luo Bing and the others weren't surprised by this revelation. The only one capable of arranging for spies to infiltrate the unfettered alliance was probably Chu Yang, but they didn't expect him to make his move so fast. Looking pale, she suddenly knelt on the ground, but she was lifted by Long Chen. I won't punish you for being one of Chu Yang's people. After all, you haven't caused us any harm. If you truly wish to stay in the unfettered alliance, we can accept you. You don't need to worry about Chu Yang. However, if you have some family whose lives are in his hands, I have no way to help you. You, you really can trust me. She stared in shock at Long Chen. I already said that not many people can lie in front of me. If you are willing to stay here, with your talent and aptitude, we will definitely welcome you. Your relationship with Chu Yang was the past. If you sincerely join the Unfettered Alliance, you will be one of our people in the future. I trust you, said Long Chen. I'm willing, I'm willing. I swear on my soul to join the Unfettered Alliance. I, Mu Xin, will never Novaloon.com Long Chen waved his hand to cut off her oath. There's no need for such a thing. Since I dared to let you join, I'm not afraid of you betraying us. Now that you've joined the Unfettered Alliance, you will quickly find that this is the wisest decision of your life. Let's move on from this. Go join your group. Long Chen held a simple welcoming ceremony for these new recruits. It was just a symbolic encouragement. It went without saying that these new recruits were truly talented with immense potential. But he also saw some challenging gazes. Those were all thorns, and they viewed themselves highly. But such a thing wasn't necessarily bad. Those people had to at least have some ability, or those thorns would have long since been broken. Once the welcoming ceremony was complete, which could be taken as giving the sweet candy, it was time for the beating. I know that a few of the new recruits have quite a bit of ability. Of course, they have quite some arrogance as well. However, in front of me, it would be best if you reserved that, because that little bit of ability is not worth anything to me if I'm being honest. You've joined our guild which means that you are lucky. Since guilds have a limited number of slots, our recruitment process will be even more stringent in the future. Perhaps a month later, none of you would be qualified to join. You should cherish this chance instead of thinking of becoming the boss, because with Boss San here, you would be kicked out and regret it for a lifetime. Resources are important in cultivation, and talent is important as well. But sometimes, luck is the most important thing. So treasure it. Move out. They once more set out to the devil battlefield. After passing through a few transportation formations, they arrived and progressed deep into the battlefield. On the way, he asked Mu Xin some simple questions. Mu Xin's family had relations with the Chu family, so she joined the Chu alliance. Once there, she found that she really didn't fit in, with the most worrisome thing being that those people viewed women as playthings. Furthermore, since her individual combat power wasn't strong, she had to suffer. For her family, she had no choice but to endure. But just a month ago, her mother was killed, and she was the only person she was close to in her family. Moreover, the one who had caused her death was someone else from her family. Because of this, she no longer had any hope for her family, and she also had to suffer in the Chu family. Fortunately, her looks were only average so she didn't interest many people. Otherwise, she would have been used as a toy. This time, Chu Yang had sent her out as a spy, but she hadn't expected Long Chen to instantly see through her and even be willing to accept her anyway. She felt like she had escaped a sea of bitterness. As long as she could leave the Chu alliance, she was willing to do anything. Does Chu Yang have a supreme archer amongst his subordinates? Asked Long Chen. Yes. That person's moniker is Eagle Eye. He is not a pure-blood human. He has the heavenly eagle race's blood in his veins and has inherited a portion of their talent. Having frightening perceptivity when it comes to archery, he can easily kill people who are actually stronger than him. Assassinating people across realms is simple for him. It's said that he has never failed to assassinate his target, said Mu Xin. Mu King Ian curiously asked, Brother San. How did you know, that person tried to assassinate me before, by the time I managed to get over to him, he was already gone without a trace, it really pissed me off, said Long Chen, what, he attacked you, 
Mu Xin was shocked. She was very clear on just how terrifying this eagle eye was. He had never failed before. Even Luo Bing and the others were surprised. There was no information about an eagle eye in their intel reports. His archery is truly amazing. Ah, other than him, does Zhu Yang have any other powerful experts? Asked Long Chen. There's another called Shadow. It's rumored that he's an assassin from the Blood Kill Hall. Answered Mu Xin. The Blood Kill Hall. Long Chen's heart shook intensely. Chapter 2970 Once more hearing of the Blood Kill Hall Long Chen's heart jumped when he heard the Blood Kill Hall's name. He had almost forgotten it. Moreover, he hadn't expected to hear it again in the immortal world. Is the Blood Kill Hall very famous in the immortal world? Asked Long Chen. Luo Bing said, Yes, its assassins are all famed for being merciless and using any means necessary to achieve their goals. They are like a tumor in the immortal world. The Blood Kill Hall's master is Imputa, an extremely hateful and perverted figure. He will do anything for money. Countless experts have lost their lives because of him. A supreme existence even announced that they were looking for Imputa's head, but nothing came from it. It is said that the Blood Kill Hall is backed by the Nine Underworld Hall. Their Nine Underworld Hunters are famous, and I'm sure you know of them. So that's the case. It's a den of serpents and rats. If I had known earlier, I'd have wiped out his inheritance in the mortal world. Long Chen hadn't expected the Blood Kill Hall to be on the same side as Lord Brahma. Based on that, for Shadow to appear in the Chu family was nothing curious. To put it frankly, they were all Lord Brahma's dogs. Long Chen, you should be careful. The Blood Kill Hall's disciples are crazy devils. They are capable of doing anything, warned Luo Bing. If it was someone else, I might be cautious. But those dogs of Imputa really aren't anything to me. On the Martial Heaven continent, Long Chen had killed countless believers of Imputa. All the disciples of the Blood Kill Hall had Imputa's faith energy. So Long Chen was incredibly familiar with that fluctuation. Last time, if Chu Yang had sent that shadow instead of Eagle Eye, it was unknown who would have been targeting who. Ba San, Guild Leader Luo Bing is correct. You really must be careful. Chu Yang actually has four skilled killers by his side. Eagle Eye and Shadow are only two of them. I was only in the Chu Alliance for over a year, so I don't know who the other two are. Chu Yang is extremely cautious and meticulous. He's very frightening, said Mu Xin. This startled everyone. Even after being in the Chu Alliance for over a year, Mu Xin didn't know who the other two killers were? Then Chu Yang truly hit his trump cards deeply. He didn't even trust his own people. Long Chen smiled and said, Today, let me teach you another move. You cannot dodge other people's schemes. You can dodge one person's schemes, but not ten people's schemes. You can avoid nine of those schemes, but only one needs to be the one that kills you. Rather than focusing all your energy on avoiding all those schemes, Better focus on raising your power and increasing the number of your trump cards so that those schemes cannot affect you. You will simply blast through them. A person has a limited amount of time and energy, so you have to use them for the most important things. Actually, I used to like playing some schemes as well, thinking myself smart. But when I suffered a painful loss, I understood just how foolish such a thing was. Just focus on raising your power on accumulating trump cards others are unaware of, and you will find that the schemes others prepare for you cannot touch you. Just at that moment, devil creatures appeared in the path in front of them and were annihilated by a wave of arrows. It went without saying that compared to last time, their arrows were far more accurate and powerful. Every arrow contained just enough power to kill one of them. A bit more and it would be a waste of energy. A bit less and it wouldn't be an instant kill. This was the precise level of control that Long Chen demanded from them. This was the foundation for training in the piercing cloud arrow. After their experience last time, and the new techniques they had gained this time, these archers could be said to have established a very solid foundation. On the other hand, the newly joined disciples who had felt some arrogance immediately pulled that arrogance in when they saw such sharp archery arts. Once you can control your power, Try spreading your mental energy to oversee the entire battlefield. Based on your enemy's position, speed, and direction, as well as the terrain and the way your allies are spread and fighting, calculate the next moves of your enemies to accurately shoot them. 
This is an important aspect in group battles. Archers can control the entire battlefield. It can be said that the lives of your allies are in your hands. If you cannot judge where your enemies are going in advance, then by the time your allies are in danger, it might already be too late. Here is what I mean by predicting their next move. Long Chen had a bow in hand and pulled back the string. The devil creature at the front is about to jump. Just as he spoke, that devil creature really did jump, and Long Chen's arrow pierced through its head. That arrow had clearly been shot too high, but it just so happened to strike its head when it jumped. On the left, the devil creature has a boulder blocking its way. Based on its pace, it will just happen to stumble over it. Just as he said, that devil creature tripped over a rock, and as it fell, an arrow pierced its head perfectly. Long Chen shot over ten arrows. Every single shot was clearly off target at first, but then it was like those devil creatures were intentionally throwing themselves into his arrows. Watching him accurately strike their heads like this, everyone was dumbfounded. These new recruits were finally fully convinced, and their previous arrogance vanished without a trace. All experts revered those stronger than them. It might be difficult at the start, but once you can concentrate your mental energy, you will find the world suddenly become slow and clear. You will have a feeling that you can predict the next step. After all, these are brainless devil creatures, so there's no need to calculate so much. Once you can reach this level, I can transmit the piercing cloud arrow to you, said Long Chen, letting the archers take over. They continued to advance. There weren't that many devil creatures, and they became target practice for the archers. However, predicting their movements wasn't as easy as Long Chen made it seem. Anyway, Long Chen didn't apply any pressure on them. He had them continue attempting to slowly grasp this skill. On the way, Mu Qingyan sent people to pick up the corpses, but Long Chen called them back. That tiny bit of money wasn't worth the effort. Brother San. Just where are you bringing us? Asked Mu Qingyan eventually. They were getting further and further away from the barrier. They just passed the place that they had fought last time. We're going to a four-star danger zone. We'll kill black armor devil creatures. They're a bit stronger than the ones last time. And their natural black armor is quite tough. With our current power, that's the most suitable place. Our goal is to get into the top hundred this time. Just at this moment. The sky shook and a golden war chariot flew over their heads, leaving a streak of gold. It was so fast that it vanished in the next instant, but the rumbling sound still echoed. It's the Heaven Female Alliance's leader's golden war chariot exclaimed Luo Bing. Chapter 2971 Moving Out Alone Heavens That's the private war chariot of the head of the Heaven Female Alliance. The High Firmament Academy's number one beauty is definitely inside. Did she see us? If she did, that would be the greatest thing that has ever happened to me. I actually saw the number one beauty's chariot. The men and women of both guilds were incredibly moved. That was just how great the name of the High Firmament Academy's number one beauty was. Long Chen rolled his eyes. These disciples had gone crazy. No, just seeing a chariot was enough for them to get so emotional. Then wouldn't they directly pass out if they actually saw her? Brother San. Are you not curious about her? Asked Mu Qingyan. What is there to be curious about? Is she not just another person with a head on two shoulders? We already have so many beauties here. So why bother looking at others? Said Long Chen indifferently. He, Brother San really knows how to talk. But I believe that there's no way you could say such a thing if you really saw Bei Shishi in person. Giggled Zhang Ling. Long Chen looked at the golden streak of light in the sky that had yet to fade. That chariot was truly flashy. What made him speechless was that after her chariot flew over, the disciples got so motivated that there was no need for him to think of a way to encourage them. As they entered deeper into the battlefield, they gradually saw some devil creatures with scales. Their entire bodies were black, and they had claws that gave off a frighteningly sharp glint. When Long Chen and the others arrived, they immediately drew their attention. However, just a few isolated devil creatures didn't pose any danger to them, and the devil creatures were wiped out. Once they reached a certain depth, Long Chen took out a medicinal pill and flicked it into the sky. It then exploded, unleashing a burst of white powder. In that instant, all the devil creatures in the surroundings charged toward them crazily. This time, 
There was no need for Long Chen to say anything. The high tower was quickly set up along with the formation around it, and the healing warriors were at the center. Everyone rapidly entered their combat state. Those black armor devil creatures were rapidly cut down. Although they were stronger than their last opponents, the Luo Gate and the Unfettered Alliance's disciples had improved immensely. They had learned new techniques and immediately started putting them to use. As for the new recruits, they were all powerful, and although their cooperation was a bit stiff at the start, they quickly got used to it. After all, they were hand-picked elites. The archers had advanced immensely and saved some squads from danger several times. The ones fighting at the front felt even more at ease when they saw that. Unexpectedly, the one who displayed the greatest talent was Mu Xin. Her healing arts were exceptional. Anyone who was injured would find a vine sprout from under their feet and wrap around them, protecting and healing them. Such a powerful healer delighted Mu King Gion and the others. They could fight with even greater ease now Novaloon.com These devil creatures were truly stronger than the ones before. So the disciples required several people's cooperation to block their attacks. Then others would use that opening to slay the devil creatures. Only a few people dared to fight them one on one. If the disciples were injured, their blood and chi would be shaken, and it would give the other devil creatures a chance to kill them. But with a long-range healer like Mu Xin, people were able to fight more freely. Seeing Mu Xin's healing arts, Luo Bing, Luo Ning, and the others finally understood just how important a powerful healer was in a group battle. If all the healing warriors had her abilities, their combat power would rise to a whole new level. In any case, these powerful black armor devil creatures were simply killed as quickly as they rushed over. There was no instance where the disciples were in danger of collapsing like the last time. In just over four hours, all the devil creatures were wiped out, other than some people cleaning up the battlefield. The rest took a break to recover. With the slaughter done, Luo Bing looked at their points and saw that it had reached 290,000. They were ranked 267. As for Mu King Gion's side, they had 230,000 points and were ranked 317. They were quickly catching up, showing that the Unfettered Alliance truly did have greater killing power than the Luo Gate. After all, the old elite group had been personally raised by Long Chen. They were extremely powerful existences on the battlefield. The Luo Gate's disciples were still lacking in this regard. Since Long Chen hadn't attacked this time, the Unfettered Alliance was catching up, but Luo Bing didn't mind. After all, they were all allies. Furthermore, they had an advantage over the Unfettered Alliance's disciples because there were more immortal cultivators for them to pick from. Hence, this gap would slowly close. Are you alright? Long Chen came to Luo Ning's side. He saw that she had just consumed a medicinal pill. I'm fine. I got a bit muddled just now from the killing and treated the elite devil creatures as normal devil creatures. Luo Ning shook her head, her face still ever so slightly red. Just talking about it was a bit embarrassing. She had actually forgotten about the elite devil creatures and ended up challenging over 10 of them at once, resulting in a minor injury. Good that you're alright. You have enough power to protect yourselves here. This is a pill to lure devil creatures. As long as you crush it. All the devil creatures within a thousand miles will be drawn over. With your current power, as long as you are within four-star danger zones, you should be fine, said Long Chen. He handed over ten of these pills to Luo Ning. Long Chen, what are you doing? Asked Luo Bing. Long Chen smiled. With your current power, you are safe within four-star danger zones, but a five-star danger zone would be too much. It's a rather awkward level. You should stay in the 4-star danger zone for now and train. Once you've grown more familiar with this kind of fighting, I'll bring you to a higher level area. Now, I'll go deeper into the battlefield and see if I can find anything useful to me. With all of you growing, I can't slack. Brother San, be careful, said Mu King Gion. Long Chen nodded and left, going deeper into the battlefield. Luo Ning curled her mouth. This fellow is definitely saying that we're too slow. So he's going out on his own for adventures don't hold a grudge. The difference is too great. We should know our limits. Sighed Luo Bing. They then rested for four hours. After cleaning up the battlefield, Luo Bing took out a map and led everyone to another region. As for Long Chen, 
he rushed off on his own. When he saw that no one else was around, lightning wings appeared on his back and he flew through the air like a bolt of lightning. The direction he chose was precisely the direction where the Golden War Chariot went. Chapter 2972 Blazing Devil Swamp The Devil Battlefield was said to be the entrance to a crack between the immortal world and the devil world. If you follow this crack all the way to the end, it would be possible to reach the gate to the devil world. The devil world here was actually referring to the same place as the devil world spoken of on the Martial Heaven continent. However, the Martial Heaven continent could be considered a desolate land, and the devil world bordering it was nothing more than its lower level. The comparison was like a tree and a leaf. On the other hand, the immortal world was close to the devil world's core. Of course, with Long Chen's level, he still wasn't qualified to touch the history of the devil world or why the Martial Heaven continent would become a hunting ground for others. There were many things he had yet to learn. The High Firmament Academy's Devil Battlefield consisted of multiple battle regions. The ones that Long Chen and the others were in were nothing more than tempering areas for disciples, not the core of the battlefield. It was said that the core was under the control of the Battle God Palace. With their power, Long Chen and the others weren't qualified to participate. However, even this trial battle region had powerful existences. Within this region was a nine star danger zone. The Blazing Devil Swamp. The devil creatures here possessed flame energy. Their bodies were wrapped by flames, and they could unleash powerful flame divine abilities. Long Chen's target was the Blazing Devil Swamp, or to be exact, the cores of the devil creatures that possessed flame energy. Other people might need to withdraw the flame energy within the devil crystals, but Huo Long could directly absorb them while ignoring the devil nature of the cores. With those flame devil cores, Huo Long could replenish its energy quickly and constantly condense more heaven shaking swords. After that, the quality and quantity of the heaven shaking swords would rapidly rise. People with money might directly buy flame element cores or treasures to do the same, but Long Chen could only figure out how to do it himself. There were many devil creatures in Long Chen's path, but they were easily slaughtered. But the further he went, the stronger the devil creatures were. After about four hours, he saw the light of fire appear in front of him, and a burning scent hung in the air. The flame element essence here also grew more active. Through a pair of stone mountains, Long Chen saw an enormous swamp. This world was cast in a fiery light. It was just like hell. This so-called swamp was actually lava, and amongst it was hills and fields. Humanoid figures could be seen occasionally crawling out of the lava and running around. They seemed to be apes covered in fire, and they occasionally let out heaven-shaking roars. At the very end of the lava, almost beyond what he could see, Long Chen saw a giant crack that was like a door. That's the checkpoint of this region, and stronger devil creatures can't get through it. Only rank 2 and below can squeeze through. Moreover, only flame element devil creatures come through it. Other devil creatures enter through different checkpoints, thought Long Chen. In other words, Beyond this checkpoint should be an even stronger area of lava. These devil creatures clearly lived off of the lava as flame element devil creatures. If the other side had stronger devil creatures, then they would require even more stringent conditions to live. There's people. Long Chen suddenly sensed some fluctuations in the distance. But the flame energy here was too dense. And space was in constant fluctuation. His sense wasn't clear. Long Chen followed the edge of the Blazing Devil Swamp and quickly saw a group of over a hundred people fighting the Flame Devils on the edge of the swamp. It's people from the Heaven Melting Valley. Long Chen instantly recognized the person leading them. It was the one he had almost slapped to death in the Divine Scripture Pavilion. That guy was holding a flame spear and standing at the front, leading the attack against the devil creatures. At most, they would only dare to draw over a few dozen of the Flame Devils. Once those flame devils left the swamp, they wouldn't be able to replenish their energy and would be a bit easier to kill. Despite only drawing a few away from the lava at once, those flame devils were truly powerful and difficult for those people to handle. Every single one of their punches was like a volcano eruption. As a result, space would compress and deform constantly. That was a kind of innate divine ability, other than a few selected experts in their midst. The others needed to work together to block these attacks. One mistake and they would be injured. 
Long Chen saw that amongst them were two people recovering with medicinal pills, their faces pale. They had temporarily lost the ability to participate in this battle. After killing those devil creatures, they retreated. Long Chen then saw a camp not that far behind them. They were clearly resting in that tent between attacks. Every time, they would attack a few devil creatures, kill them, and run. They didn't want to draw the attention of too many flame devils. Should I con them? Looking at the face of that vice leader of the heaven melting valley, Long Chen had a certain thought. But that thought was extinguished just as it was born. This was the devil battlefield. A place with extremely stringent rules. It was different from the academy. Here, the rules were set by the battle god palace. Since this was a trial region for disciples, everything should be under their gaze. If anything happened to the disciples, they would immediately come save them. After all, these were elite disciples of the inner academy, and they were viewed as important. Conning people here while still not leaving a single trace of himself was far too difficult. Hence, Long Chen abandoned that thought. Looking at them resting and tidying up their spoils, Long Chen directly walked over to the swamp. As soon as he revealed himself, he was sensed. Long Chen was far too conspicuous in his black clothes. It's Long Chen. The vice leader glared at Long Chen. Vice leader, should we? One disciple drew his finger across his throat. Impossible. The heavenly eye is watching everything. No movements can escape the battle god palace. If we did, it would be sensed and we would be executed, said the vice leader darkly. Although he knew that this was the best chance to kill Long Chen, he didn't dare to. Then what? Should we curse him? Bait him into attacking us and use that as an excuse to kill him? Long Chen might not know the rules here, so should we try it? What is he doing? Just as the vice leader was nodding, thinking that this was a possible plan, a disciple suddenly cried out, staring in shock at Long Chen. Chapter 2973 Devil Domain Battlefield They saw Long Chen going straight toward the lava swamp. Furthermore, they didn't see a single person behind him. Is he an idiot? He knows that we're going to kill him. So he chose to kill himself first. The heaven melting valley's disciples looked at Long Chen like he was an idiot. When he approached the lava swamp, devil creatures came out of the lava and charged at him. At this moment, Long Chen's speed suddenly exploded. Lightning wings appeared on his back, and he shot straight across the lava swamp like a bolt of lightning. This charge caused the swamp to start roiling. As a result, countless flame devils came out of the lava and pounced on him. However, Long Chen ignored them. He shot across the lava with tens of thousands of flame devils chasing him. This huge disturbance continued to draw out more flame devils from beneath the lava. Even from a great distance, the heaven melting valley's disciples were terrified. After fighting these flame devils many times, they all had a similar nightmare of being chased down by countless flame devils, but not being able to run fast enough. It was unknown just how many times they had been woken up by this nightmare that ended with them being devoured. This time, the nightmare manifested in reality, but Long Chen was the one being chased. Countless flame devils were coming out of the lava now. Even the heaven melting valley's disciples didn't know that there were this many flame devils lying beneath the surface of the lava. He's just at this moment, Long Chen arrived at the spatial crack at the end of the swamp. He then dived right in and the countless flame devils followed him. While the flame devils on the other side couldn't go through, the ones on this side could. As Long Chen's figure vanished from their sight, the lava slowly settled. Right now, the heaven melting valley's disciples were still staring, dumbfounded. Long Chen's definitely dead. Even the valley head would lose half his life if he went in there. Other than Fairy Shishi and young master Chang Chuan's groups. Anyone who enters the Devil Domain Battlefield won't be able to return alive, said the vice leader with a sneer. The Devil Battlefield was split into multiple areas. The place that they were in was called the Trial Battleground. On the other side of the crack though was the Devil Domain Battlefield. The Devil Domain Battlefield had no formations protecting it, so the Disciples' tablets were no longer life-saving talismans there. If they encounter danger, no experts would be coming to save them. Let's get back to work. We need to gather more flame devil crystals. The valley master is just a little bit off from mastering the fourth volume of the Nirvana scripture. 
Once he masters it, he'll have the power to fight young master Chang Chuan and Fairy Shishi. Then our heaven melting valley can contend for the top position. The other disciples were instantly motivated and continued killing the flame devils for their cores. The guild points weren't too important to them as the third rank guild, as no one could shake them from this position. But these flame devil crystals were to help Long Yanzong comprehend the fourth volume of the Nirvana scripture. Long Chen found that the channel he was in was a current of lava. Behind him, countless flame devils were chasing him. Although their bodies were like apes, they were exceptionally agile in this lava, like fish in water. Long Chen snorted and formed some hand seals. A flame prison then formed around the flame devils behind him, trapping them. Prison slaughter. Boom. The giant flame prison instantly shrank, crushing the flame devils inside. Although the ones right behind were wiped out, there were more coming from further back. He had only temporarily pushed back the danger. Long Chen then summoned the flame prison once more, this time trapping himself inside as protection. Those flame devils tore at the walls but were unable to break them. Heaven shaking swords. Long Chen smiled and changed his hand seals. The next moment. The space behind him shuddered, and over a thousand flame swords appeared like a blooming lotus. Those flame swords sped out at the flame devils, piercing through their bodies and injuring them. The power still isn't high enough, but this is already not bad. Long Chen was satisfied with this level. After all, his heaven-shaking swords were still at an early level, but it already had this power. I need to get rid of them here. Or bringing so many over to the other side would be dangerous. Long Chen summoned Huo Long. With a single claw, Huo Long wiped out a wave of flame devils and consumed their devil crystals. In less than an incense stick's worth of time, the flame devils that followed him into the passageway were wiped out. As a heavenly flame, Huo Long had a suppressive effect on these flame devils, so killing them was easy. Just as Long Chen had anticipated, these devil crystals weren't really enough for Huo Long to grow. Huo Long was already so powerful that it needed stronger devil crystals. After wiping them out, Long Chen continued forward. The passageway wasn't very long. It was like a current of lava flowing, with some undercurrents that caused occasional whirlpools. However, when he was about to reach the end of the passageway, the tablet on his waist buzzed, a sign of danger. Once he was past this point, the tablet would no longer be able to save his life when he needed it. After a bit, the alert stopped, and he continued onward. At the same time, he concealed his aura, and flame energy wrapped around him. Suddenly, a powerful current crashed upon him along with immense pressure. Startled, Long Chen stabilized himself, but after looking around, he didn't see anything. He then slowly started rising through the lava. Once he was up, he saw that this was also a flame swamp. However, it wasn't circular. It was a long river going far beyond what he could see. He was at the end of the river where he saw a pool. There was a very rough stone mountain covered in strange lines. At the bottom of the mountain was a large whirlpool that made it very conspicuous. Looking around, Long Chen left a spiritual mark on the mountain to avoid getting lost here. After that, he started climbing up. Just as he quickly reached the peak, he suddenly noticed that the entire mountain was slowly rising. Fuck, what is this? Only then did Long Chen realize that this was no stone mountain but some terrifying giant fellow. Chapter 2974 Terrifying Giant Crocodile It was a giant beast covered in rock-like scales, and it was standing up. Now, Long Chen realized that it was a giant crocodile. It hadn't been unleashing any aura before this meaning that it had probably been in slumber. Since there was no danger, he hadn't sensed it. While climbing, he hadn't sensed how terrifying it was. And by the time he was on its head, it was too late. At this moment, the giant crocodile sensed him, and the runes covering its body quivered. Long Chen instantly had a bad feeling. This crocodile actually wanted to send him flying. If this terrifying powerful devil beast of unknown tier sent him flying, would he not be smashed to a pulp? Runes then appeared around Long Chen as his flame energy covered him. Just at that moment, an explosive power came from beneath his feet. Long Chen was sent flying into the air. However, chains bound his body to the crocodile's head. As a flame element beast, Long Chen's flame energy couldn't be instantly broken by it. 
Long Chen was pulled back toward the crocodile's head. He then formed one-handed seals, and flame swords flew out toward its head. However, his swords didn't even leave a single mark. How tough. Huo Long, help me out, shouted Long Chen. Huo Long flew out and bit down on the crocodile's head. Sparks flew, but even Huo Long's sharp claws and teeth couldn't break its defenses. Long Chen's heart sank. Huo Long's claws and teeth were its strongest point. If even they were unable to break its defenses, then it could only be said that its power was too terrifying. It wasn't an existence he could deal with. The crocodile roared, clawing at Huo Long. Although it wasn't injured, it was angered. Countless runes now appeared on its rock-like skin. Not good. Long Chen's expression sank. The chains he had bound to its head instantly dissipated. It prepared to send him flying once more. Huo Long. Long Chen cried out. Huo Long instantly understood and transformed into a chain, wrapping around the crocodile's neck. Boom. The crocodile's body shuddered intensely, unleashing a wave of power that caused Long Chen to almost cough up blood. Fortunately, he was holding on tightly to Huo Long's chain and wasn't sent flying. As the crocodile's aura soared, Long Chen felt a terrifying force about to send him flying. He was barely able to keep hold of the chain. Just at this moment, Huo Long manifested more chains that bound Long Chen, reducing the pressure on him. The crocodile then roared with its bull-like voice, which shook Long Chen's ears. He felt like his head was about to break. However, now it was difficult for him to fend for himself. All he could do was prevent himself from flying off. As the crocodile struggled, giant waves exploded out of the lava. Long Chen managed to see countless flame devils fleeing for their lives. Those flame devils also had powerful auras. They were at the third rank, but they were scared and fleeing like this. Long Chen grumbled inside. How was he so unlucky to encounter such an existence as soon as he entered? Boom. The crocodile suddenly dove into the lava, but its giant body didn't fully fit. Hence, giant waves and rubble flew through the air. Long Chen was wrapped in flames. Now that he was submerged in the lava, it actually became slightly easier for him to maneuver. The crocodile tossed and turned in the lava, but seeing that it was unable to shake Long Chen off, it charged out once more. Its body was huge, but it wasn't clumsy. Its legs worked nimbly, causing it to rush across the land like a flying boat. It was incredibly fast as it smashed right into a mountain and crushed it. Long Chen coughed up a mouthful of blood from the impact. If he hadn't activated the Azure Dragon battle armor at the last second and protected himself with his astral energy, he would have been crushed to death. Fuck. Let's see who can last longer. Long Chen roared furiously. Suddenly, Long Chen wrapped two chains around the crocodile's mouth. It was infuriated by this but was unable to break the chains. Moreover, its claws were unable to reach its mouth, driving it crazy. The Academy's records really are accurate. Crocodiles have terrifying biting force, but one fatal weakness is that they have very weak power when it comes to opening their mouths. Long Chen was delighted to have muzzled it so easily. Mush, like riding a horse, Long Chen used the flame chains as reins, treating the giant crocodile like a mound. As a result, it grew even more infuriated and crazily rolled around. But Long Chen had found the trick, so it was no longer able to injure him, unable to shake him off. It charged toward another large mountain. Quite a few third-rank devil creatures were blasted apart by its charge on the way. Oh, they count as my kills. Long Chen glanced at his status plate and saw the number rising. The curse of kill devil creatures wouldn't fall on its comrades. If those devil creatures died without knowing how, any human that they saw would automatically have the curse fall on them. The earth quaked as the crocodile rushed around, and a long ditch was made along with it. The devil creatures that were unable to get out of the way in time were killed by the impact or the raging flames. Mush, mush, mush. Damn thing. Go faster. You're too slow. You think you're a badass? I specialize in managing all kinds of badasses. Mush, mush, mush. The giant mountain was shattered. However, just as they crashed in, Long Chen pushed with his right hand, causing the crocodile's head to tilt slightly. As a result, the upper half of the mountain was destroyed, but Long Chen wasn't injured. By moving the crocodile's head at the critical moment, 
He avoided a serious injury. Mush, mush, mush. Run, run. If I don't put you in your place today, you won't know just how many eyes your boss Long San has. Just as he was shouting, he suddenly noticed that a group of people had appeared ahead of him, staring in shock. Up in the sky above their location was a golden war chariot. Chapter 2975 A woman chosen by the heavens This group of people consisted of all women, but the majority of them had specks of blood on their white robes. One portion was cleaning up the battlefield, while the other portion was resting. This group was precisely the group of disciples from the Inner Academy's strongest guild, the Heaven Female Alliance. They had just finished up a battle and were recuperating. Hence, the appearance of the giant crocodile startled them. Its terrifying aura shook their souls. But the most shocking thing of all was the black-robed man sitting on its head, his fire chains wrapped around the crocodile's head, being used as reins. They even heard him urging it on like it was a mound so they couldn't believe their eyes. Who is that? He clearly just ignited his divine flame, but he dares to come here and provoke that explosive fire devil crocodile. Hey, don't just stare like idiots. Run, I haven't subdued this thing, so it's not listening to me, shouted Long Chen when he saw the crocodile charge toward them. Who are you? Suddenly, a woman spoke up from amongst the crowd. Her voice wasn't loud and yet even among the crocodile's thunderous steps, it was clearly transmitted into Long Chen's ear. It was a pretty and melodious voice, but it vexed Long Chen. Who cares who I am? Get out of the way or this fellow's going to start killing people. The giant crocodile was still charging forward, and these women were just foolishly standing there. They actually were in a mood to ask him his name? Long Chen wanted to curse them. Brat, you dare to be rude to our leader. Those disciples were instantly angered. Fuck, are you idiots? If you don't start running now, don't blame me when you get killed. Raged Long Chen at this unreasonable group. Just at that moment, as the crocodile reached them, a person walked out of the group. She was a tall and elegant figure wearing golden imperial robes. With her hair tied up in a bun, she was peerlessly beautiful. At this distance, Long Chen finally got a clear look at her. Not only was her face perfect, but she also gave off a feeling of being a phoenix amongst a flock of chickens even amongst these beauties. Long Chen's heart leaped. This was his first time encountering someone who could compare to Meng Chi, Len Yuan, and the other's beauty in the immortal world. He instantly guessed that this person was the leader of the Heaven Female Alliance, the Academy's number one beauty, Bei Shishi. Hey, what are you looking at? Do you think that because you're pretty? This stupid crocodile won't eat you, shouted Long Chen. The other women beside Bei Shishi were all enraged. They had followed Bei Shishi for a long time and had never seen someone be so rude to her. Any man would feel fear and awe before her. They wouldn't even be able to speak. The only one capable of maintaining their dignity in front of Bei Shishi was young master Chang Chuan, but even he treated her respectfully. Bao Shishi frowned ever so slightly, looking at Long Chen. She slowly extended her hand, her palm facing downward. What do you want? Long Chen was confused before quickly understanding. He also extended a hand, and it clenched in a fist with his forefinger and middle finger sticking out. After that, he pulled it back, feeling vexed. He then shouted, How old are you? You want to play rock, paper, scissors? Get out of the way. The Heaven Female Alliance's disciples stared at him disdainfully. Did this fellow really think that Fairy Shishi would play such games with him? Suddenly, golden ripples came from Bei Shishi's hand, and the earth exploded. Golden pillars sprouted from the earth. They were several meters thick and covered in golden runes, forming a circular prison around the giant crocodile. Hundreds of them sprouted at once and then pulled in on it. Boom. The giant crocodile crashed into the pillars. Its momentum caused the earth to shake. Long Chen hadn't expected Bei Shishi to be a terrifying metal energy cultivator capable of trapping the giant crocodile, so he was flung off by the sudden loss of momentum. Fortunately, he still had his reins and flew back. However, blood-colored runes then appeared over the crocodile, and a terrifying aura rose. As its body began to inflate, the earth shuddered. Cracks appeared in Bei Shishi's golden pillars. Thus, a trace of astonishment appeared in her eyes. 
This explosive flame devil crocodile's bloodline is actually extremely pure. It has the potential to ascend to the king level. I didn't expect to encounter such a strong devil beast here. Boom. Beishishi's cage was shattered. Golden fragments flew out like shooting stars, blasting apart distant mountains. As for the women beside Beishishi, even with those fragments flying toward them, they were calm. Just as those fragments approached them, they suddenly slowed down as if invisible hands were catching them. What terrifying control. She has complete control over them. This Beishishi really is powerful. Long Chen's heart shook. She was definitely worthy of being first on the earth rankings. Although that was just a casual move for her, Long Chen could tell that she was incredibly powerful. The crocodile roared, but with its mouth bound, the sound came from its nose. It seemed to enter a berserk state, and flames burst out of its body. Suddenly, the Heaven Female Alliance's disciples vanished. They were drawn into the Golden War Chariot, as they couldn't endure these terrifying flames. Even as flames exploded out of its body and into the heavens, as if it was trying to incinerate the very sky, Long Chen continued to sit on its head just like that. Its flame energy was devoured by Huo Long, so it was unable to harm him. As long as he refused to get off, he was safe. Golden runes flowed around Beishishi, protecting her. Within that golden light, she appeared even more beautiful, like a heavenly beauty possessing a divine radiance. Beishishi stared at Long Chen with some surprise. He was actually able to ignore the explosive flame devil crocodile's flames. Just who are you? Beishishi asked once more. Chapter 2976 Long Chen Acting Shamelessly Leader I remember now. This fellow is the one who recently caused a storm in the inner academy. A newcomer named Long Chen shouted a woman from the Golden War Chariot before Long Chen could reply. So you're Long Chen. Beishishi nodded. I forgot. The only one to wear black robes in the inner academy is you. Haha. <laughs> you overpraise me. May I ask for your great name? Long Chen cupped his fists and smiled. Beishishi smiled faintly. Why bother asking such a redundant question? Beishishi's faint smile contained a kind of arrogance from within her soul, as well as a coldness that rejected all others. No, it's not redundant. It's a must-ask question. You don't know my name, so I must act like I don't know your name either. Otherwise, it would appear like I was lacking manners, said Long Chen. Beishishi almost laughed. This was her first time encountering someone like this. He seemed completely frivolous. She thought back to how he had actually tried to play rock-paper-scissors with her when she had been using her magical art. Just what was going on in his head? Beishishi didn't bother saying her name and pointed to the crocodile. This explosive flame devil crocodile has been completely enraged by you and will ignite the power of its crystal core soon. At that time let alone us. Even a divine lord realm expert would have to stay back from it. What are you planning to do? I'm thinking of turning it into my mound. That way, you'll have your golden war chariot, and I'll have this giant rock crocodile. We can then be equals without any feeling of discomfort between us, answered Long Chen. What Beishishi felt like she had misheard. She once more examined Long Chen as if checking to see whether he was a fool. What? Is there a problem? asked Long Chen. This is a fourth rank devil beast, and it even has a king bloodline. Even if you did have the power to subdue it, you wouldn't be able to control it. The devil beasts on the devil battlefield can't be trained into mounts. They're different from the devil beasts in the outside world because they have a special spiritual mark on them. If you dare to summon them into your spiritual space, it will receive a message from the devil world and instantly detonate, killing you with it said Beishishi indifferently. What a pity, sighed Long Chen. Originally, he had thought that with his spiritual strength and powerful flame energy, it might be possible to subdue this fellow. At that time, when he returned to the academy, he would see who dared to even look at him wrongly. Unfortunately, this dream was shattered now. Then what can be done about it? Asked Long Chen. The giant crocodile suddenly stopped moving, seeming to be accumulating energy. This sudden calm was frightening. I'm asking you. It is starting to stimulate its king blood. But it'll take some time. If you run now, you'll make it. Since we're from the same sect, I'll let you ride in my chariot and bring you back to the inner academy. 
said Beishishi. The women inside the chariot were shocked that she would say this. No man had ever stepped foot into her chariot, but now she was making an exception for Long Chen. However, when they thought about it, Long Chen was also a disciple of the Inner Academy. If they just let him die here like this, it truly would feel bad. Then wouldn't I have messed around so much for nothing? I'm unwilling. Can you help me kill it? We can split the profits. I just want its crystal core, and you can have the corpse. How's that? Suggested Long Chen. Beishishi shook her head. Its defenses are too powerful, and its element counters mine. For me to kill it would require me to use my core energy. However, it doesn't have anything I want, so the price isn't worth it. Long Chen was shocked inside. Beishishi was truly powerful. She was actually capable of killing such a terrifying existence on her own. Moreover, with her element countered, it showed that she could truly win with power and not coincidence. I didn't expect that the famous number one beauty in the academy is actually a woman without any sense of responsibility. Fine. Go. I'll handle it myself. Long Chen sighed and waved his hand dismissively, indicating for her to leave. What are you talking about? Bei Shishi's expression changed slightly. That tone of his. What else could I be talking about? I was getting control over this crocodile. But then you interrupted me midway. And now it's infuriated. Even then, you want to just pat your butt and leave. After causing such trouble, you're just going to make someone else handle it. Fine. I won't quibble with you. Go. Women are all too timid to handle things. Long Chen shook his hand at her and then lowered his head in thought. You little bastard. You dare to insult our leader. You smelly man. Who do you think you are? None of you can even shake our heaven female alliance's position. You dare to look down on women? I don't see you having any special abilities. Long Chen's words had poked the hive. Furious curses came from the Golden War chariot. Bei Shishi's expression was icy. She snorted. To use such childish tactics to provoke me into action. Do you think that I'm an idiot? Then you didn't fall for it. Asked Long Chen with a smile. You. Are all men so shameless? Asked Bei Shishi angrily. I don't know about other men. But I'm definitely very shameless. I'm willing to do this because this crocodile's crystal core is very important to me. If I have to be shameless, then fine, said Long Chen, his expression not showing the slightest bit of embarrassment. I thought that you were different from the others, but I suppose that I was wrong. I shouldn't have pitied you and helped you out. Now you're repaying my grace like this. Beishishi was angry, and yet even in that anger was a different kind of beauty. Long Chen sighed and said, Isn't that excellent? I gave you a lesson, letting you understand how treacherous people's hearts are. As an instructor, it is my duty to be constantly teaching others. This is my life's mission. Long Chen, you're too shameless. Do you know Fairy Shishi's true status? Roared one of the women in the chariot. Bei Shishi waved her hand, cutting them off. She coldly said, What kind of help do you want? Don't even think about making me use my core energy. Of course. I won't make you pay so much. I just need you to help me keep its mouth open when it opens it. Just half a breath's time is enough, said Long Chen. Just that, asked Bei Shishi, feeling surprised. Just that, it should be as easy as raising a hand for you. I'm going to start now. Just like that, Long Chen suddenly let go of the reins. The crocodile that was still accumulating power thought that it had broken free of its own power and opened its mouth wide. A pillar of flames then shot out toward Beishishi. Chapter 2977 Splitting the spoils and running off Beishishi was almost caught off guard. Her figure vanished just as those flames were about to reach her. What are you doing? Why didn't you say anything? Raged Beishishi. Long Chen was being far too impetuous. Help me hold it. Long Chen suddenly jumped off of the crocodile's body and dove into its mouth. Seeing this, Beishishi jumped in shock. His guts were incredibly big, and he actually trusted her this much. Was he not worried about her failing or not cooperating? Then he would definitely be dead. Beishishi formed hand seals. Metal energy. Condensed the earth turned golden and pillars broke out of the ground, weaving like vines into a giant sphere. This giant sphere then wove itself inside of the crocodile's mouth, forcing it open. More metal energy continued to pour into it from the surroundings. 
Just at that moment, the crocodile's body turned the color of blood, and a sinister aura exploded out of it. Not good. Beishishi's expression changed. This explosive flame devil crocodile's bloodline was even purer than she had expected. Even before igniting its crystal core, it was capable of using a supremely powerful divine ability. The next moment, her metal sphere shattered as its mouth bit down. The immense power blew Beishishi back. She was filled with shock as she had actually failed to hold on. If Long Chen was still in its mouth, he would be crushed just like her metal sphere. All of a sudden, a golden mark appeared on her pupils. She was about to charge back when she heard Long Chen's hateful voice. Hey, pretty girl, hurry and set up your defenses. Beishishi didn't even understand what was happening before a terrifying aura exploded out of the crocodile's head. It was like a volcano exploding. Boom. A muffled bang rang out and the land shuddered. Some golden fragments flew out of its mouth. At this moment, a hasty golden barrier was erected by Beishishi. It was then turned into a sieve by the golden fragments. But Beishishi wasn't injured. Once she pulled back her defenses, she saw that the surroundings had been destroyed. Cracks spread in every direction to the end of the horizon. As for the terrifying explosive flame devil crocodile, its head was split open, and a river of blood flowed out. It was dead. Even as the number one expert on the earth rankings, Beishishi was stunned. She then saw Long Chen lazily walk off of its back. Although his hair was a bit messy, his expression was still calm as if everything had been under control. Thank you. As we agreed, I'll take the devil core. The corpse is yours. Long Chen found a giant devil crystal inside of its head. It was actually tens of meters thick and had sparkling runes on top of it. Its immense power caused space to twist around it. Long Chen directly put away the devil core, cupped his fists to Beishishi, and then ran off. Wait. Before she even recovered from the shock of the crocodile's death, Long Chen had slipped away, as if he was afraid of her reneging and wanting the devil crystal. That little bastard is so hateful. Does he think that our number one guild would get greedy over his things? At this moment, the disciples inside the war chariot walked out again, glaring angrily in the direction Long Chen had gone. He actually called our leader a pretty girl. How brazen. HMPH. He should count himself smart since he fled, or I'd have to give him a proper lesson about manners, said another disciple. This fellow isn't a normal person. Just treat him like a madman Beisha she shook her head. Long Chen's actions were completely different from that of a normal person. It was her first time seeing such a person. I'm just curious what he did to kill this explosive flame devil crocodile. Due to using a magical art, I wasn't able to see clearly. I saw it. Before jumping into its mouth, something was shining in his hand. It looked like a lotus and seemed to contain some terrifying power. But there was something containing the power. When the crocodile shattered your golden sphere, he jumped out. And that thing in his hand was gone. He probably tossed it into its mouth. Said an icy-faced woman with a long ponytail. She was the vice leader of the Heaven Female Alliance and also a powerful warrior. Amongst all of them. Only she had seen some clues. Beisha she nodded. If that was the case, then she could understand. Long Chen was a powerful flame cultivator. If he could blast a magical art inside of the explosive flame devil crocodile's body, detonating its own power to kill it, it was possible. However, his guts were incredibly big. If there had been the slightest bit of slip, he would have lost his life in their first encounter. He was actually capable of leaving his life in the hands of a stranger. That required either absolute confidence or absolute craziness. Leader, this corpse should be very beneficial to our flame cultivators. Its hide also has flame daruns. We can pay a bit to the Formation Institute, and they'll extract those runes to embed them in armor or weapons. That would improve our equipment, said the vice leader. Although they were wealthy. This pure blood beast wasn't something they could encounter whenever they wanted. Its corpse was actually very precious to them. Beishishi frowned slightly. It was killed by Long Chen. Although I helped a bit. Just doing that much and taking this might cause others to say that we took advantage of him. Alright. When you find Long Chen's guild, we'll buy it under the name of our guild. Paying the same price as the academy would. Long Chen hasn't joined any guild. Right now. He's an instructor in the God Institute. 
the Immortal Institute, and the Pill Institute, reported a disciple hastily. Basha she was startled. She hadn't expected this disciple who seemed to be from the Flame Institute to actually have so many statuses. The most startling one was that he knew how to refine pills. It was almost inconceivable. Then just put away the corpse for now. Make some inquiries. I want to know everything about Long Chen. Beishishi's eyes shone. She felt a bit curious about Long Chen. Chapter 2978 Devil Crystal turns into swords big sister Luo Bing. Quick. Take a look at your ranking. Mu King Guyan and the others had just finished a battle and were cleaning up. After that, she checked their points, thinking that they had almost caught up to the Luo Gate, only to find that she couldn't find the Luo Gate on the rankings. After searching and searching, she suddenly saw their name at the front. 1,730,000 points. Rank 29. How is that possible? Luo Bing stared at her own tablet in disbelief. Was there an error? How did we instantly get into the top 30? exclaimed Luo Ning. Could it be Brother San? Mu King Guyan suddenly thought of how Long Chen was holding the Luo Gate status badge. He had mentioned thinking of a way to bring them into the top 100 quickly so that Luo Bing would have an advantage. If there wasn't something wrong with the rankings, then there was only one possibility. Their explosive rise in points was due to Long Chen. Luo Bing and the others were shocked and delighted by this terrifying rise in points. And at this moment, Long Chen had returned to the lava swamp. He encountered quite a few rank 3 devil creatures, but he didn't bother with them. One reason was that he didn't want to waste time, while the other reason was that he didn't have information on these devil creatures. He didn't know their strengths or weaknesses. Perhaps if he was surrounded, he might even draw out another terrifying existence like that explosive flame devil crocodile. Having reached the lava swamp again, he saw that many flame devils had appeared. No wonder I didn't see anything when I came in. They were all scared off. Only then did Long Chen realize why he hadn't seen any flame devils on his way out. When he took out the devil crystal of the crocodile. Those flame devils fled like frightened rabbits. Long Chen couldn't be bothered to kill rank 3 devil creatures. It was too much effort right now. He quickly found the passageway again. However, he didn't go to the other side immediately. Instead he stayed inside of it and summoned Huo Long. Long Chen had already told Huo Long not to absorb this devil crystal. It actually wasn't that beneficial to its growth. Instead, it could be used to strengthen the heaven shaking swords. Using its devil core, the heaven-shaking swords produced by its energy would possess the devil crystal's core runes. That would give them a portion of the explosive flame devil crocodile's power, making them even stronger. Huo Long's body shook. One heaven-shaking sword after another appeared, including the ones it had before. Ten thousand of them appeared. However, after condensing ten thousand heaven-shaking swords, Huo Long used up almost all its core energy and it descended into slumber. Long Chen adhered the 10,000 heaven-shaking swords to the devil crystal, having the flame energy inside of it nourish these new swords. The flame swords started out very small, but as time passed, they grew more spiritual, and even without prompting from Long Chen, they began to absorb the power of the explosive flame devil crocodile's devil crystal on their own. As they absorbed the devil crystal's power, Long Chen saw a rune appear in every sword. They started to absorb a trace of the explosive flame devil crocodile's aura. In this flame swamp, the power of the crystal core could be diffused as quickly as possible. In less than six hours, cracks covered the crystal core and it shattered. All of its energy absorbed. After that, 10,000 flame swords whirled around Long Chen. Long Chen grabbed one, and sensing its explosive power and sharp aura, he smiled. Long Chen then put away the other heaven-shaking swords and returned to the devil domain side. Seeing a rank 3 flame devil charging over, he swung his sword. The flame devil's head was sliced off and exploded. As expected, with the rune of the explosive flame devil crocodile, the heaven-shaking swords aren't just toughened and sharpened, but they also possess a bit of its suppressive abilities. Long Chen estimated that the devil race had their own special ranks with higher ranks suppressing lower ranks. He was still unclear on exactly how those ranks worked, but just testing this power, he was sure that his choice was correct in making Huo Long work so hard. 
with these 10,000 heaven-shaking swords. Although he wouldn't go so far as to say he was undefeatable on the Devil Domain battlefield, he would definitely be able to kill an existence like the explosive flame Devil Crocodile without anyone's help this time. Long Chen then returned to the tempering trial battlefield. As soon as he arrived in the swamp, countless flame devils charged at him. As Long Chen willed it, he could wipe them out with his 10,000 swords. It would take less than an incense stick's worth of time to do so. But he didn't, as the heaven-shaking swords were a trump card that he didn't want others to know of. There were still the heaven-melting valley's disciples hunting the flame devils on a much smaller scale here. Long Chen rushed off in an instant, those flame devils not even being able to touch him. What he didn't die, he's back, he's not even injured. The Heaven Melting Valley's disciples couldn't believe their eyes. Bastard, watch out, the vice leader quickly shouted. Due to the distraction, the flame devils they were fighting almost killed some of them. They barely saved one disciple from certain death, but he lost an arm, as their formations were in a mess. The vice leader took the front, allowing everyone else to retreat. Once they distanced themselves from the swamp, those flame devils stopped chasing. When they looked back at Long Chen, they found that the latter had vanished. Not caring the slightest bit about them, he quickly reached the battlefield where the Luo Gate and Unfettered Alliance were fighting. He didn't get too close immediately and only observed as they fought. Their battle formation flowed smoothly and their cooperation had reached a solid level. There was essentially no danger. However, they still needed to improve. They needed to be able to go through at least a few battle formations, and their cooperation could be better. Otherwise, something unexpected might catch them off guard, throwing everything into chaos. This kind of cooperation could only be achieved through time and experience. There was no shortcut. Seeing that Luo Bing and the others were doing well, Long Chen slipped back to the academy. As soon as he was back in the academy, a disciple was waiting for him in front of the transportation formation. Instructor Long Chen, Heaven Master Yun Yang is looking for you. Chapter 2979-9 Prefecture Convention Long Chen arrived at Heaven Master Yun Yang's immortal cave. He found that other than himself, nothing else was there. It was a barren place that looked lonely and cold. The only decoration was a worn-down grass prayer mat. Long Chen was surprised by how simple his residence was. Heaven Master Yun Yang, you were looking for me. Sit. Heaven Master Yun Yang indicated the worn-down prayer mat. Seeing Heaven Master Yun Yang sitting on the bare ground, how could Long Chen possibly sit on the prayer mat? Hence, he also sat on the ground. Heaven Master Yun Yang smiled. A youngster who has reached the peak of fame who is proud but not arrogant, is truly rare, Long Chen chortled, well, my temper depends on who it is, furthermore, this little one's abilities simply aren't enough to be arrogant about even if I wanted to when compared to you, the heavenly deos are like a sea, there is limitless knowledge to learn, for you to have a respectful heart indicates that you can walk even further on the martial path, this is a blessing for the academy, and a blessing for the human race, at this point, Heaven Master shook his head. When a person gets old, they forget the point. I called you over because I wished to discuss a certain matter with you. I heard that you went to the Divine Scripture Pavilion and the Immortal Scripture Pavilion and learned quite a few magical arts. Long Chen's heart shook. Had he been reported for helping the disciples learn techniques? He first learned the techniques, then taught them to the disciples of the two guilds that had reduced the Academy's profits. Could it be? Heaven Master Yun Yang smiled and shook his head. The Academy's rules are the rules. Don't think the Academy is so sinister. The Academy's rules are to allow for it to function. It's not to squeeze money out of our disciples. He, yes, I helped the disciples of two guilds learn some magical arts. After all, I'm an instructor, and since I'm lacking money, I could only collaborate with the disciples. This was mutually beneficial. That's not against the rules. Right, asked Long Chen. Of course it doesn't count as breaking the rules. I'm simply amazed by your comprehension ability and your powerful soul. You could learn all those techniques without any effort. If I could give you a chance to read every book within the Divine Scripture Pavilion for free, how long do you think it would take you to learn everything? Asked Heaven Master Yun Yang. You, really Long Chen was shocked. 
First tell me how confident you are. One month. At most one month. Long Chen was moved. He felt like an immense, wonderful thing was in the process of descending upon him. One month? Are you sure? Heaven Master Yan Yang was shocked. I won't rest or sleep. In one month, I can learn everything in the inner academy, said Long Chen confidently. After entering the Divine Flame Realm, his spiritual strength hadn't changed much, but as 108,000 stars had ignited their divine flames, it was like he had 108,000 soul receptors, so he could read as much as he wanted. His 108,000 stars had gone through an inconceivable change, and he hadn't even had a chance to test their new power. But memorizing books? That was definitely no problem. If that's the case, then the matter I'm worried about should be resolved. Sighed Heaven Master Yun Yang in relief. Heaven Master, what good thing do you have for this little one? Asked Long Chen. Just the thought of reading everything within the Divine Scripture Pavilion for free was making his heart itch. He couldn't wait. When Heaven Master Yun Yang explained the situation to Long Chen, he almost didn't believe it. Heaven Master Yun Yang actually wanted to break the rules and let him take the exam for the position of Heaven Master. The High Firmament Academy was located in the Heavenly Swell Domain. It was also known as the Heavenly Swell Star Field. It was one of the hundred domains. The Immortal World had a hundred domains and a thousand prefectures. The domains were larger than the prefectures, but it wasn't the case that every domain had prefectures within it. Only places that had the human race in them were called prefectures. Some domains didn't have humans. For example, the Devil Domain, the Blood Domain, the Flame Domain, the Nether Domain, etc. They were occupied by other life forms and were places that the human race couldn't set foot into. There were also some star fields where the human race cohabited with other races peacefully, and other star fields where they were in constant battle with other races. The Heavenly Swell Domain had nine prefectures. The Ying Prefecture and the Shen Prefecture were both located within it. As for the High Firmament Academy, it was located in the Martial Heaven Prefecture. Its name was the same as the Martial Heaven Continent. Long Chen still didn't know if it was a coincidence. The High Firmament Academy was the Martial Heaven Prefecture's strongest sect. So the majority of this prefecture's cultivators chose to join it. However, Disciples from other prefectures were also drawn over by its name. For example, the Luo family and the Chu family. Their disciples came from other prefectures, mostly due to the ancient tomes contained within the High Firmament Academy Novaloon.com The High Firmament Academy was an exceedingly old existence. Hence, there were countless historical records inside it. It had built up an incredibly deep foundation. This was what the High Firmament Academy was famed for. However, while it was rank 1 in the Martial Heaven Prefecture, in the 9 Prefecture Convention, its ranking was not ideal. It actually wasn't even in the top 10. The 9 Prefecture Convention was a grand competition held once every 10 years. It was the strongest competition of the Heavenly Swell Domain, and there was still half a year until the next convention. Senior, you wish for me to participate in the 9 Prefecture Convention? Long Chen was still confused. The Inner Academy had countless experts with monsters like Bei Shishi and Xu Changchun. Why would the Heaven Master come looking for him? The Nine Prefecture Convention's battle portion is for the Battle God Palace to worry about. But other than that competition, there is also the Nine Prefecture Dao discussion. I hope for you to represent our Academy's instructors to discuss the Dao there, said Heaven Master Yan Yang. Discuss the Dao Long Chen was startled. When it came to talking big, he was all right. But to have him discuss the Tao in front of all the heavenly geniuses of the nine prefectures? Wouldn't he be laughed at? Yes. Go discuss the Tao as a representative of the academy. I was the representative in the last few conventions. But while the academy's foundation is thick, it is hidebound by convention. In the current cultivation world, countless new marvels are born every day. The heavenly Deo's turn and we can no longer keep up with the times. In the last discussion, someone posed some questions to me, and I was actually unable to respond appropriately. The era has changed. We old-timers will naturally be replaced by a new generation of disciples. As for you, while you lack experience and knowledge, 
You have advantages that we old timers don't have. You are not bound by our conventions. Thus, we are planning on taking the risk and having a young instructor participate this time. And you are the most suitable choice. My mouth has no gatekeeper. I might say something that loses the academy's face. Pointed out Long Chen. The academy doesn't care about face. Nor do we particularly care about competing with others. We only wish for you to participate in hope that you can come up with some new brazen ideas. Instead of being stuck in the past like us. I suggested this to the institute head. And the institute head has reported it to the dean. Even the dean has said that it's up to you. If you agree to represent the High Firmament Academy's instructors in the Nine Prefecture Convention, we will give you the authority to read through every book in the Inner Academy. What do you think? Asked Heaven Master Yan Yang. Long Chen had never expected such an opportunity. He hesitated and asked, If I attend as an instructor, will I also have a chance to compete in the Nine Prefecture competition? To tell the truth. I wish to get famous. The Nine Prefecture Convention was a gathering of heavenly geniuses. If he wanted to spread his name, this was the best option. The name of Boss Long San would spread far and wide. Perhaps he would be able to encounter the others as well. Thinking of that, a fire ignited in his heart. Chapter 2980 An instructor's vocation don't worry about that. The two don't overlap each other. First is the Tao discussion and then the competition. There is ample time participate in both categories, said Heaven Master Yan Yang. Then this little one will do his best. However, if I do badly, will I be punished? Asked Long Chen. No, the Tao is ephemeral and limitless. We feel like all the senior instructors have become too spiritless. Even now, no one has thought of any new questions for the upcoming convention. Our thinking is too old. Thus, we wish to bet on a new representative said Heaven Master Yan Yang. From his tone, it didn't seem as if Heaven Master Yan Yang cared too much about the Nine Prefecture Convention. However, the entire academy seemed to have taken the attitude of being alright with just getting by, rather than striving for excellence. Long Chen originally felt a great distaste for that attitude, but after talking with that sweeping elder, he understood that not everyone was intoxicated with the feeling of being number one. There were still plenty of people smarter than him. If he didn't understand, then it just meant that he hadn't reached that realm yet. Even the dean didn't seem concerned about this. With such an immense benefit, how could Long Chen possibly give it up? He naturally accepted. This is a special status plate. Starting today, you can freely go through all the scripture pavilions in the academy without paying. Heaven Master Yan Yang gave Long Chen a violet status plate with the words High Firmament carved onto it. This was actually a status plate outside of the heaven, earth, human, and mortal rankings. Long Chen delightedly received it and thanked Heaven Master Yan Yang. This new status plate would help him out immensely. The Academy has scripture pavilions in the Outer Academy as an introduction point, while the Inner Academy's scripture pavilions are for building a foundation. As long as you can comprehend the tomes in the Inner Academy's scripture pavilions, it is enough for you to master the core of the 10,000 Deos. Above those scripture pavilions are an even higher level of core techniques, but we are not planning on letting you come into contact with those. One reason is that your realm isn't high enough, and diving into them will only harm you. The other reason is that due to us researching those higher level core techniques, our way of thinking grew stiff and inflexible. It is as if we bound ourselves with chains that we cannot break. Due to that, we will not apply any pressure on you. Read whatever you want. No one will give you direction. Even if you do badly during the convention, it won't matter. The High Firmament Academy doesn't care about such meaningless prestige. However, there are two matters that I must discuss with you. Heaven Master Yun Yang suddenly grew solemn. Junior is listening, said Long Chen respectfully. The first thing is that starting today, you are no longer permitted to directly transmit the Academy's magical arts to other disciples, said Heaven Master Yan Yang. Long Chen was startled. If the Academy didn't care about prestige or money, why would they restrict him in this aspect? Wasn't that limiting the growth of its disciples? Seeing his confusion, Heaven Master Yan Yang said, to transmit the Tao, to instruct, to guide. This is the heavenly duty of an instructor. 
But your Tao is not other people's Tao. Your path only suits you. If you draw others onto your path, ask yourself, how many of them will survive? Well, Long Chen was at a loss for words. Heaven Master Yun Yang was correct. If everyone learned from him, then unless they could always stay with him, anyone who learned his temper but didn't have his power would quickly die. As an instructor, the highest realm is to lead people to the correct realm seemingly without doing anything, said Heaven Master Yun Yang profoundly. Junior understands. Long Chen nodded. The unfettered alliance and Luo Gate's disciples were not like the dragon blood warriors. If they stayed by his side, when they encountered some terrifying opponent, they would only be cannon fodder. Long Chen suddenly had a thought. Was the academy doing this specifically to prevent this kind of situation? After all, as those two guilds grew stronger, they would draw more experts that wanted to join them. Their influence would also grow. Hence, the academy didn't want him to influence that many disciples' futures. Thinking of that, Long Chen found that the academy's higher-ups truly did have profoundly wise people. Despite the academy appearing completely muddled and out of control, the truth was everything was under their control. Although he didn't know the true goal of the academy, he was sure that it wasn't as simple as it appeared on the surface. As for the Chu family's infiltration, perhaps to the true higher-ups, they were nothing more than dancing monkeys. The academy had to have its own reasons for not stopping them. Thinking of this, Long Chen gradually smiled. If the higher-ups really were that smart, then things would be easier for him. His main worry had been idiots in high positions here. Seeing Long Chen nod, Heaven Master Yun Yang also nodded. Long Chen was a smart person. With just a little hint, Long Chen understood his meaning. He then continued. That was the first point. The second point is that the Academy and the Battle God Palace are almost two separate entities. Other than the Dean, no one in the Academy can manage the Battle God Palace. Any outstanding disciples in the Inner Academy are snatched up by the Battle God Palace. Thus, the Inner Academy's disciples are viewed as promising sprouts. Adding you to our group of instructors is actually not as simple as it sounds. If the Dean had not personally sent word, we would not have dared to do so. If you become a Heaven Master, you must be prepared for when the Battle God Palace comes for you. Comes for me? For what asked Long Chen? They will likely tell you to reject your status as a Heaven Master. Other than matters of the battlefield, the Battle God Palace is greatly disgusted by everything else. Thus, Long Chen understood and smiled. Heaven Master Yun Yang, don't worry. I am not someone to destroy the bridge after crossing the river. If I promise to do something, I will definitely do it. I have never broken my word in this lifetime. Heaven Master Yun Yang was indicating that when the Battle God Palace came to apply pressure on him to reject his status as Heaven Master, he had to say no. From the Battle God Palace, Long Chen had met the Divine Lightning Elder, the Discipline Institute's head judge, as well as that expert called Han Fang. He could tell that they were real men, and they naturally detested the Academy's convoluted and over-elaborate workings. He believed that the entire Battle God Palace was the same. But that was fine. He needed to get stronger. So why would he refuse such a good opportunity? If the Battle God Palace was willing to accept his admittance as a Heaven Master, good. If not, it was fine as well. Furthermore, as long as he was strong enough, would the Battle God Palace really reject him just because he was a Heaven Master? Seeing him agree, Heaven Master Yun Yang was at ease. Long Chen took his new status plate and happily left going straight for the Divine Scripture Pavilion.